playing this one, you guys have just done like a dungeon fight for the last three sessions, so I figured yeah, you'd be kind of happy with la less combat anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I love almost dying all the time, it's great. <laughs> Repeated. <laughs> well, you kind of put yourself in most of those situations. Yeah, it's my whole thing though. Whoops. Run, running in on your own on a scouting mission, being the last to leave with the least amount of movement. Yeah, that's that's checking an ogre. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it was vibes. I like the attempted rope trip. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Shame it didn't go well, but yeah. It didn't work. When it really does didn't. it ever go well? I'm gonna try dub stuff all the time, just in case it goes well. I just love that you tried to strength check it, and it was like... <laughs> it was like three times the size of us. <laughs> I am gonna get some like fancy strength increasing gloves or something, and kick some big bitch's ass. Okay. Are we... Uh, I might be able to help you out. Oh. Yeah, Please. Yeah. Might be able to. That'll be sick. <coughs> there we go. We're all, we're all ready in my end. Alright, alright, alright. So, um, in that case, guys, we are going to um, return to our campaign. So, the, the group of you yet to be named as an adventuring team, um, have been travelling north out of Strixcliff, um, a small village on the southern end of uh, the Dragon's Body Peninsula. You guys learnt of a noble merchant uh, who had been travelling north towards the town of Brumberg, following the line where the Winterwood ceases its magical um, chill and seasonal change um, and had gone missing you tracked him down or rather more importantly I think Aladnir saw the, um, the smoke trail um, and you investigated finding a ruined cart you parked your own left the horses it's been two days um, and uh, in fact no three because you rested here in the mines uh, it's been three days uh, since you been there, but cleverly, you did leave your feed um, behind for them to chow on. They've ate the whole feed now, haven't they? It's just, we have no idea. Just We're about really to find out. Big so, <laughs> <laughs> so, as you uh, continued tracking the ruins uh, of the caravan, you eventually found a cave filled to the brim with goblins, ogres, um, and uh, goblin leaders. You met a little guy called um oh jesus christ he's been so badly dead that i forgot his name snot um and uh, who was oh, at some point impaled uh, uh we're not sure how far he would have gotten after you guys cut his arm off anyway um <laughs> and uh all right he, he seems to be all right but but alas, the giant ballista bolt um, ended his career as party pet, um, and you guys managed to find you guys managed to find the captured nobleman, um, rather roughed up, a bit beaten, um, but able to stand and move. Uh, this human noble by the, the name of um, Karnath von Strachan. Um, enlisted your help to try and retrieve his supplies and escape the cave. Rather than head the immediate way back, you guys can, took the supplies and then went exploring further to try and find a different way out. Um, relative successes, uh, however, you were spotted um, as you dove into a small cavern that happened to be the sleeping quarters that you had bottled up and boarded to stop them from going anywhere else. And so they all came out. And uh, if with varying degrees of success, you guys managed to lift and shift and retreat to the exit of the cave. And in the process, I actually managed to secure all of the supplies that you found. We rejoined the game with all of you rushing out in various degrees of ouch uh, into a afternoon sun. The light is actually now beginning to crest downwards towards the afternoon. You know that it was about a day to get through the woods back to your caravan. However, um, as we exit, I would like 
Uh, um, Dex save you, please roll me a d8. I can indeed roll a d8. Is that it? Oh no. What? Two! That's weather. <laughs> um, <laughs> two. Okay. My chart. Hmm. The sunlight showed a little bit of promise. However, as you guys stand there, it begins to cloud over. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Um, <laughs> you're not feeling any rain yet, but the horizon doesn't look good. What do you guys want to do? I'd like to become a mole and <laughs> never see the sun ever again. <laughs> The goblin cave's back there if you want to go back in. Sick. Um, yeah. I'm going. <laughs> I think we just need to move back to the horses now. Yeah. yeah. I miss the horses. Wait, did the horses have names? I don't know. Did you name them? Uh, good question. Horse, I'm going to roll a history check if that's okay. Okay, yeah. I'm really good at intelligence based checks. Oh! Okay, thank you, D&D Beyond. We wow. got an R20. <laughs> nice. Um, I don't think you did name them. I don't think you did. They were not given names. So, uh, so, with your incredible intelligence and history, you yeah. realise, no, you never named your horses. I believe you had two. Yeah, yeah we have two horses. Okay. Um, Engine and gearbox. Can Engine all and three gearbox. of you, can all three of you roll me uh, perception checks at this point? Yeah, you're oh, we're we're really doing good at this dice rolling thing. Absolutely Eight. amazing. Not one for a free. You need to minus five. No, you're the minus five. Oh shit, no. Uh, <laughs> negative, minus negative two. two. Wicked. Um, I'm for Aladdin. Sixteen. Eight and sixteen. Uh, okay. Okay. Carrying the supplies, you guys exit the cave. What do you guys want? Oh, I hate this. No! I hate this <laughs> um, you, you do hear um, Carniff sort of speak something. Um, well, thank you all for getting me out of there. Um, what's the plan now? You don't mind oh, me asking? We're going back to our horses and Great. the gearbox. <laughs> Very nice. I don't know what a gearbox is, but that sounds great. Oh, ask Iron for it. He'll tell you all sorts of stuff. <laughs> well, it's the name of a horse now, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, very well. And um, and then uh, about our arrangement, you escorting me to Grinberg? Oh, I always suppose we'll be doing that. Is that still on the cards? Where's Grinberg? Uh, it's the town to the north. Um, do you have a map? Probably. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I do believe you do, actually. <laughs> Um, so as you as you get your map out, you see um, where you are now, guys. Um, you should see if you look at the uh, roll roll twenty. Yep. P stands for party. Just look at that. <laughs> um, and uh, you guys, as you look, um, he traces his finger and shows you the mountains where you are now. And yep. yes, you're right, Haladne. He points to the town to the north, that. Uh, the, the small road that is off-road but uh, it's fairly well trodden mul multiple times um, and it just carries on oh, on the border of the, the Winterwood you guys have actually been halfway up here before because um, you came from a carnival that was in the Winterwood oh. itself cool oh. do, we, do we have any stuff to do anywhere else or is it are we, are we, are we good to just go to Grandia uh, I believe we have one more thing to do but I it's been a long time. It's been a long periodically time. Can I use my nat 20 on my history check to remember <laughs> what we need to do? Uh, I don't know if you do. Uh, you know what? You guys. Let's you guys go to, to Grindelwald. Yeah, let's, let's go to Grindelwald. It'll be fine. <laughs> um, where? Uh, I'm, I'm uh, trying to Grunberg. Uh, oh, Grunberg. Yeah, we'll go there. Right, okay, so long as we don't go somewhere somewhere else. You, um, you don't want to go to Grindelwald. I've heard it's really lovely there. I mean, I heard, it was a total, I heard it was a total flop, but that's not quite <laughs> <it>. um, <laughs> So, uh, well, in that case, uh, lead on, please. Um, we'll get these supplies to, to your wagon, and we'll continue on. I am absolutely not leading. Um, 
we took down the carriage's canvas bit, didn't we? When we oh, took it through the forest. We so we, when we get back, back to the road, we should set it back up. Yeah. yeah. I don't trust those clouds, and after all of that really horrible weather, I am absolutely having canvas up. So that's a good idea. So, um, who's going to lead the way? I will. I think I'm... Well, Actually, I'm weirdly fine with survival. So am I. I, I, I don't mind leading away, but if I can have some support, if anyone... Is anyone proficient? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Is anyone proficient? Um, mm -hmm. uh, Alakai is. He will give you... He will assist you. Amazing. Okay, then I will lead the way with Alakai assisting. Okay. Well, me a survival check. At advantage with the assistance. Well, I rolled two sevens, so that's eleven. <laughs> 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 Oh, we are going to Grindelwald. <laughs> We're going to Grindelwald, guys. <laughs> yeah. I rolled two fucking sevens. <laughs> it is really lucky for you guys that you have been this way before, <laughs> and the DC is only ten. Um, yeah. <laughs> so as uh, as you guys continue on for a little longer, it, it does take you most of the day, but especially when Haladne gets you lost twice. Um, but uh, but you you do eventually find your car. Um, you realise that the canvas is actually still up. Um, it's all it's all deployed. It was absolutely heaving it down the last time you you left. Oh. So um, uh, and the horses are both still there. Taking a quick look at your feed, you have enough for because you bought enough for about I think eight days. Um, you've spent two. It's been two. You've got about three days of feed left. They didn't eat all the feed. They're good no. horses. These horses do get full. Horses. Yeah, horses do get full. Hmm. Okay. Um, and on a miraculous, really lucky D100 roll that I made earlier, um, they also haven't been eaten, so you're quite good. You, you, you do quite <laughs> <laughs> Roll for horse consumption. <laughs> I did, and they lived. Um, so just just for a little bit of background information. In fact, um, as as you guys do approach your horses and you check up, can uh, can someone make me a medicine roll or an animal handling? I'll let you use either. I do medicine. If I had to put in numericals, I have a plus seven. Could I could I nature that shit? Uh, yeah, go for it. I animal handling I and got a 14. I rolled another 7. Oof. I, I got 14. I know. 14, 14, 21. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with the three checks, you notice multiple things. Number one, um, the horses are... Um, they're not skittish, but they're really glad you're back. Um, and uh, Rayleigh... You, you do see that they have they kind of really sheltered together as if trying to hide. Um, um Haladne, you notice that there's actually cuts and scratches on the horses. Several bite marks around the legs. Um and one of them has quite a bad bite mark on its neck. Um there's a bit of rope strain from where you guys um secured them when you left to stop them from leaving but you also realize you stopped them from running um how um, you do manage to patch them up they're not bad they look like um there was uh, some form of a fight but they're doing okay with the what's displayed here ironfoot you quickly realize that these bite marks uh your horses were actually attacked by a pack of wolves oh, um, yeah. i i ran i um, I simmed the combat about two sessions ago when you left them, um, just in case, and uh, and they actually beat the pack and <laughs> survived. So fucking goats, um, we love it. They, oh. they 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 managed to fight back and survived. Um, I need to make these horses some armor. I was just thinking that you'd have to probably DLC. train them. Um, <laughs> you'd have to probably train them. These aren't war horses. horses. Um, but it's doable. I will let you know now. It is. It is in fact very, very doable. I, I need to train a first. horse to be a war horse. You need to make get the fear out of them. The same way you train a man to be a soldier. Um, yeah. 
scream at her four o'clock in the morning. Got it. Basically, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, but you managed to load up the supplies, um, and your horses are okay. Um, awesome. Uh, Wait. What if we strapped like weapons to them? I don't think that's how it works. But they might like turn and then hit something. Yeah, but they might turn and hit us. Yeah, but we're not stupid. Well, some of us. Are you speaking of yourself? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, have we got enough food to get us to Grindelwald, Berg? <laughs> <laughs> Grindelwald. <Sorry. laughs> Grindelwald. I've got Grindelwald in my brain. I don't yeah. know why. Okay. So, um, looking at your map, uh, you, you, uh, at, at on horseback, um, you will make it in two days. Assuming nothing goes wrong, assuming weather conditions are acceptable, um, and assuming that your um, wagon isn't heavy, heavier than what two horses can pull. Um, you have a wagon, not a carriage, so it is a two horse draw, and it is designed to carry things. You guys also know that you're carrying, uh, I believe, eight. Um, boxes and and your wagon should be able to support it, especially oh, yeah. with your with your intelligence, iron foot. Um, you should be able to do that. Are these just normal horses? Or are they big like shire horses? These are regular horses. You guys didn't buy draft horses. Did we break open those boxes, by the way? Why would we? The owner is right here. Oh yeah, <laughs> I didn't say that. Ignore me. <laughs> I just got curious for a second. What are in your What are in your boxes, friend? Uh, in the boxes? Um, well, um, in most of them, uh, feel free. Have a look. And he opens up one of the crates, and you can see some really, really fine silk. Um, this is almost glinting back at you uh, in the brief amount of sunlight that you have. Um, I, I, I've got a one personal crate, um, and uh, these are for trade. Um, I figured that if I was going to be traveling to a different continent and to a different land in search of my task, that uh, I may as well bring some form of mercantile goods on the way. And what did you talk? Um, wrong me a persuasion channel. Uh... Oh. Oh. Six. Six. Uh, it, it is a private matter. Um, but one I'm keen on. Um, tell you what, if we swap some stories on the road, then uh, we'll see. Don't forget about the documents. I haven't forgot. Remember, the deal was the moment we get to Grunberg, I, I'll trade them out. Um... They should be in one of these crates somewhere. Okay. Okay. Let's start our travel then. Yeah, let's get ready to go. Okay. So, you guys begin travel. Um, how fast are you trying to go? A regular pace, a fast pace, or a slow pace for the first day? Regular pace. Regular. Regular pace? Okay, so if you guys would like to... Zoom in and grab your attention to the area that you're in on Roll20. We will have our own little... Um, oh, is that the right button? Yes, it is. Um, ah, wrong button. There we go. So, you guys begin traveling your first day. Um, regular speed, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Someone who wishes to drive can make an animal handling check um, or a land vehicles check. I will tell you now that it is easier to pass a land vehicle check than it is the animal handling. Land, um, what land vehicles based on? Uh, if you have the land vehicles um, proficiency, you can add your proficiency bonus and either your wisdom or your intelligence. I will drive for the first day. Okay. Um, someone else can make a perception check to keep watch. I can do that. 
Well, which means Rayleigh, you get the day free. Sick. So you can actually perform a task throughout the day and not be hindered in any way. Uh, you guys, you you are going at a regular pace. You you take breaks during the day. You give horses time to have a bit of a rest. There is, if you want to try and do something, you can. But your day is mostly um, consumed by your actions. Um, it, Ray, is there anything you'd like to? Do? Um, um, I think that yeah. I think is there any like paper? Anywhere? Do you have paper? I don't think I specifically have paper. <laughs> there's none on your wagon, I can tell you that, and there's none laying around, so uh, <laughs> not in the okay. woods. I'm going to be very raily about this and um, take out my forgery kit. Okay. And draw on the wagon. Okay. I want to I want to start um, drawing, like... Your forgery kit? Uh -huh. is like an ink pen yeah <laughs> like a quill yeah and a pot yeah cool what you should watch on draw i am gonna I'm, I'm theorizing in my brain some fists made of like metal or whatever that like do some kind of fancy force damage or something like that so i can show ironfoot when he's done driving and be like that look at how cool that is imagine if we could find that so you're just drawing fists on the side Pretty much, yeah. of the wagon, and you're going to try and make it look like they do force damage. Yeah, with like little squiggles. <laughs> yeah, maybe, a, maybe a performance check. Sick. <laughs> Not bad. 15. 15? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's not bad. You draw, you draw some fists. You find it really hard with black ink. <laughs> To get the metallic look. Yeah. Um, but you do some, you do some, um, some uh, hash shading, and you do some little squiggles. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Amazing. Put one on each side of the wagon. You know. Um, at some point, uh, Iron Foot, you do take your break and notice that Rayleigh's drawn <laughs> on the side of your wagon. Um. A new hand hand touches the Sorry. beacon. I forgot my alerts were on that fucking loud. <laughs> Somebody followed. <laughs> Thank you. What did you say? I had put. Uh, what? Uh, uh, what's this, Rayleigh? So, when I was attacking those big friggin' ogres, I was sort of like, "Oh God, what the fuck? I don't feel very strong right now." Because you know they're fucking ogres, man. And I was like. It would be really nice if I had something to give myself the upper hand for some ogres. So I started theorizing some gloves, right? Some super metal gloves. And like, when you punch them, they like, it does like a boom and hits them back. Okay. I have no idea how to make them, and I'm kind of hoping that Grinberg has something like that so I can get it. I didn't think this far ahead. I was just like sick gloves. Let, let, let me let, let me think on think on it for you, and um, we'll, when we get there, we'll get something knocked up. Heck yeah! I'm gonna keep the drawings there though, just in case. Unless you have paper, because I could probably just draw them again. Does actually. Got... I, I have lots of paper. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Do you mind if I borrow your paper? I have a really nice quilt. I'm gonna turn away from Bailey, thumb through the water paper, find like the worst sheet, like a bit mucky. <laughs> it's got a little, it's the top yeah, sheet, got a little bit wet. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll that one out. A spat with <laughs> goblin blood on it. <laughs> Place like the front chest piece and just give that to Bailey. This works. Okay, and I'm gonna try and copy the, um, the what's it, the, the, my, okay. my drawings okay. as best I can. Okay. Um, what did we get for the driving? What do we roll? Is it a straight intelligence check? Uh, intelligence plus your proficiency if you're proficient in land-based vehicles or animal handling. Oh, lot. Um, I got double proficiency. On so, land-based vehicles? Yeah, it's on all tools and then uh, thingies, isn't it? Let me, let me just double check. Artificial... Oh, whilst you check, perception check, what'd you get? 
eight. No, eleven. Eleven. Okay. Um, keeping an eye out. Uh, you're about three quarters of the way through your journey. Um, you spot some deer in a nearby nearby area of the forest. Um, they are obviously not approaching. Um, you have a choice, so you can either stop to try and try and uh, hunt here, or you can press on without uh, and avoid it. What's everyone's food situation looking like? Well, I'm not going to eat the deer. I, don't, I mean, okay. Um, you can get some leaves. How about you? Oh, I love leaves. Uh, They're my favourite. I'm foot. That's it. Iron foot. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's your food situation looking I'm, like, my friend? I'm, 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 uh, yeah, I'm pretty good. I mean, we can well, get some. Um, I uh, can't I... drop. Oh no, sorry. I had one day's ration. All right, we're gonna try and hunt here, then. Yeah. Uh, also, if uh, if you can get their their hides, they're worth a pretty penny as a tanner. Um, or they're useful for your own creations. That's true. Um, I, yeah. I personally have no rations, and I would really appreciate something to eat. <laughs> oh, I can, I'll, I'll give him a ration for now, just to make sure he's not like dying. But yeah, I'm gonna try and hunt. I have some vegan rations if you prefer. Don't that's, eat a, them. that's okay. I heard that the, the that uh, venison is vegan free, uh, vegan friendly. <laughs> Someone in Strixcliff told me. No way. Um, what? Yeah, um, it's so long as you shoot the deer at a certain point in the neck, it becomes vegan free, uh, friendly. Um, Insight check. I've been pulled before. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. Thirteen. Cool. Uh, Twenty-three. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to show me where to shoot this deer then. Oh, I can't shoot. Um, I can. Uh, Brilliant. Uh, so you've got to catch it just under the jaw, right about there, and you should be fine. This doesn't All sound right. right, but I believe you. I am no, 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 honestly, he's telling the truth, and I'm gonna. I, I'm, are, they tell, are they telling the truth? I just want to make sure. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, um, okay. Uh, what did you get in your driving tests? Iron foot. Uh, is a land vehicle a tool proficiency? Technically, yes. Sweet. Then it's a 30. A 30? Man, this is a good day. Uh, you miss every pothole, you avoid every every peril on the road, your cart doesn't get stuck, and in fact, you make over half a day's time more the, uh, and than you thought. You're, you're progressing at, at some decent going you really make the, the you you make the vehicle easy for the animals to pull so wait so guys do you want to stop to hunt the deer yeah. that Haladmir's found yes okay only if i get shown the vegan way to kill a deer you can't shoot you, who's to say i can't shoot uh, what what tools are you guys trying to use to hunt it uh my crossbow Okay. I have. You know, wait, wait. What was it? What was the merchant's name? Uh, Carniff. Carniff. Um, Carniff, can you can you veganly kill a deer with? Uh, if I had a a spell. I don't think so. No, you have to hit like with a piercing pieces it's a very specific spot that you have to hit it um and it sort of nails a gland that they have in their neck and it uh, completely makes the meat totally vegan friendly yeah but like you still killed the animal right ah but you see the chemical reaction that makes it change makes it suitable for vegans and you're okay it's like a get out of jail free card and why did nobody tell me about this before the, 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 the always <laughs> smells so good. 
I know, right? Which is why you always have to ask, is is venison, is the venison you're getting at a tavern vegan friendly? <laughs> I always like to ask that and everybody gives me funny like funny questions, like funny looks and stuff. Mm, I heard Strixcliff back there had vegan eggs. Yeah. It's fantastic. No one believed me that they were vegan because they tasted so good. Um, but if you have a bow and arrow, I can help hunt. I don't have a bow and arrow, but I feel like if I held one, I'd be good. Does anyone have a bow and arrow I can borrow? Nope. No. Damn it. I mean, I could just... No, I don't have anything to help here. I could punch it. Who? Oh, it looks like Haladne is doing the hunting. Um, yeah. <laughs> Haladne, go ahead and make me a stealth check. Are you doing oh. it veganly? Uh, before we do that, can I take my armor off? You can. Thank you. Yes. Okay, stealth check. Please don't let me down. That's 20. A dirty 20. Okay. You dismount from the car as it keeps moving, and you, you sort of rush over to the nearby brush. You spend a short amount of time, maybe 15 minutes, slowly stalking your way through until you without having been noticed, do manage to spot um, the deer in the clearing. You notice a couple of them. One looks very, very fast. Um, very live, very bouncy, very agitated. There's another that looks more distracted, slower and sluggish in its movements, um, but smaller. And then you see um, a little further beyond that, a large buck massive antlers um, that sort of dwarf its own size almost. Um, it looks hardy. Heavy. Okay. Which one do you want to go for? Oh, I want the buck. <laughs> uh, make me an attack roll at advantage. Okay. Ow. Can you take away the advantage if he does it veganly? Are you trying to vegan friendly this day? <laughs> You're on your own. No one's there. Uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd rather just make sure it goes down. Okay. Make your attack roll. Well, that was a 22 to hit. A 22? The 22 does hit. Go ahead and roll me your damage. That's not a good roll. <laughs> that is 5 damage. 5 damage? Wicked. Um, roll me... Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, roll me a d20. Do you, do you get 2 attacks a turn? No, but I can bonus action. A 17. Would you like to bonus action it? I think I might have to. <laughs> uh, is it within 60 feet of me? Yeah, you, you sneak up to yeah. fairly close. Yeah, but I'll spiritual weapon it. Oh, with casting it. No, we spoke about this before, but casting it is still a bonus action. Okay. Um, yes, casting it is a bonus action. It's one of the only spells, or one of the few spells at your level that is a bonus action as well as being an attack. Um, so, um, make another attack weapon. You are aware that Using magic on a deer, on a, on a deer, even a big one like a buck, is going it's... to sully the quality a little bit. But yeah, I just don't. Um, I didn't get the damage. <laughs> what do you? What do you summon? Your magical weapons look like yours. It's a scythe. <laughs> oh, oh wow. uh, Go ahead and make your attack roll. This is not an advantage. That's a fucking nine. I rolled a two. <laughs> okay. Um, what did you get in 20 rolls? 17. 17? Okay. The arrow pierces into the buck. Um, the scythe, uh, um, as you summon it, swings down, but the buck manages to start leaping out of the way. The two other deer scatter. Um, mm -hmm. The buck itself begins to run. You may attempt to make another shot. It will be at disadvantage as this buck starts dodging and weaving between the trees. Do it vegan, you'll hit it. I'm gonna try and shoot it again, yeah. Okay. That's a 23. I rolled two 17s. 23? It does <laughs> hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. That is six damage. <laughs> I rolled okay. it so. 
Roll me a d20. Ciao. That's 12. That's 12? Mm -hmm. Okay. The deer gets struck by another arrow and it sort of tumbles down. Um, how far can you move your spiritual weapon every turn? Uh, one minute. I think, it's, I think it's 20 feet, but let me make sure. I can move a weapon up to 20 feet. Okay, it's further than that, but you can move forwards and cast the spell again, because I believe you can cast it quite far. I can cast it up to 60, yeah. Yeah, if you move and cast it again, you can attempt to cast it again. I will do that. I'll waste another spell slot. All right. Go ahead and make another attack roll with your spiritual weapon. That's a 14 to hit. 14 just hit. Go ahead and roll the damage. I rolled a fucking one. Five damage. <laughs> okay, roll me another d20. <laughs> the meat is getting so ruined. <laughs> That's an eight. Eight? This time, as the arrow hits, it staggers a little bit, and then all of a sudden your scythe just materializes above it and whoosh, removes its head. Awesome. Um, do you wish to go and harvest this buck, attempt to bring it back to the wagon yourself, or call for friends? Um, I want to double check around first, just to make sure there's nothing else around it before I make a move and then I'll try and dress it myself okay make a perception check if you rolled a 20 on those um regular um d20 rolls did it like pull a gun on you <laughs> uh, that's a dirty 20 on my perception dirty 20 you do spot the other two deer just in the distance to hide hitting it out of there there's nothing else okay then yeah I'll uh, make an attempt to uh, dress the deer myself okay um, go ahead and make me a salvage roll. 17. 17? Mm -hmm. You do manage to harvest the deer. Um, one moment, I've forgotten what my own little chart is. <laughs> um, and I've closed it for some reason. Um, 17, was it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you do start harvesting... Uh, you do start harvesting the deer. Um, as you do, you manage to, uh, you manage to acquire, um, two pieces of two-star natural scrap. Oh. Hey, we you had an archai. Welcome in, buddy. Welcome in. Um... Hello. Quick reference, you guys have loaded the supplies onto your own wagon with uh, Karna von Strachan. You voted that you would uh, assist him in getting north to Grimberg. Um, please get on to uh, roll 20 when you can, mate. Um, already on it. Um, Ironfoot has made amazing headway driving. Um, it's like a 30 plus on his driving roll. Um, uh, <laughs> during the travel, Haladnir spotted some deer, has gone hunting, managing to bring down a buck. Um, and uh, and Rayleigh has started drawing fists with force explosions coming off them on the side of the wagon before finding out that Ironfoot had paper all along. Um, <laughs> also, you uh, yourself, some deers yourself, are kind of vegan. Uh, yes, also, Rayleigh now believes that if you shoot a deer in a very specific spot just under the jawline, the meat is chemically reacted via a gland you penetrate on the deer to become vegan-friendly. Um... You ha you technically, I know you're throwing straight back in, but you have a day where you're not required to do anything in order to travel. Um, is there something you would have liked to have done in the day's travel on the wagon? Um, make a makeshift mask out of anything. <laughs> Just scrap. Even if it was, like, fabric, you would have done it. Okay, do you guys have any scrap? Well, we do. What do we have? Abelino and Glaze Pedal. Did you just French? Oh no! What did you just say? I've learned Volko English, but all. That's French. Oh no! What's happened? Attends. Uh, 
I have... Oh, that's not worth it, actually. No, I'm not going to waste a three-star natural scrap. That's exactly I... why I didn't want to. I have a disguise <laughs> kit. Nah, okay. it's okay. He'll look um, for it. Okay. I do have a blanket. <laughs> he needs to be able to see out of it. Just stick a pillow over his head and like cut some eye holes. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, so, you manage to harvest the deer and you return to the wagon. Um, yeah, you're finding it quite difficult to just find the materials out here. Um, you do know that the supplies that you recovered for Conneth, they are full of very high quality silks. Um, that he intends on selling at Grimberg. Um, and one of the crates, which he hasn't opened for you guys, is his personal crate and his personal belonging. Um, okay. You you return with your with your prize, Paladin. Um, and unless there's anything else that you'd like to try, Alakai, um, uh, we can proceed to the second day. Um, how long did the hunting take, roughly? Would I be able to salvage for some scrap in that time? Um, probably took him about an hour. Um, but yeah, yeah, you can. just like something small. I'm not going for a Go full. Don't make me a salvage roll. You're, you're looking for like, what what kind of material are you hoping to find? I've got my wood, precious, magical, or natural scrap. We'll go wood because I do have my woodcutter's axe. Okay, make me a start. Make me a salvage roll, please. Uh, plus one, 15. And 15, you managed to get a two-star wood scrap. Okay. And that is your day's activity. Yeah. Um, I thought you wouldn't happen to have a, like, small carving knife, would you? Yeah, sure, just reach in the bag, pulls one out. Oh, I'll take it, and I'll, over the course of travel, just sort of carve it away. So you, see him, you see him just starting to carve away at something. Um, that's 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 not how you, you do it. <laughs> Are you proficient in woodworker's tools, Alakai? Woodcarver's tools, yeah. Yeah, woodcarver's tools. Wiggins. Yeah, he does actually look like he knows oh. what he's doing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, um, you're just trying to make a mask, yeah? Yeah, like I can gouge out the sides. I've still got the leather strap that was on the yeah, back of my it, other mask. But... It will cost you the ruin of your old mask and one wood scrap to make up just a basic mask. Um, I'll, I'll use that two star and I'll make it like decently covering. But also I'll, I'll put some style into it as best as I can. Okay. Um, are you trying to make it like a two star mask or are you using the two star material to make it like a one star material? I'll, I'll use the two star to make a, a one star comfortable. A one star, yeah. Uh, go ahead and make me a um, a check using your wood carver's tools. Um, you can use your dexterity for this. So dexterity plus proficiency and a d20. Oh, that's a nine. Plus proficiency. Proficiency and dex, yeah. Twenty five. 25. You do succeed in making um, a, a nice, slightly decorated, um, decent quality mask. Okay. There we go. Um, Straps up, puts it on. Ah. Um, yeah. As you guys, are you guys stopping to rest before going on to another day, or do you want to continue your travel? I need to quiz Haladnir about how he killed the deer. You guys, if you want to, if you want to, yeah, we'll, do some we'll, guys, go for it, go for it. I'm not gonna, I'm never gonna stop you guys from doing that. I'm I mean, gonna... sorry, sorry is, is it the end of the day? Yeah, yeah, you guys are coming. It's starting to get dark again. Might as well break camp, right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Haladnir, yeah, how sure. did you, um, how did you kill the deer? Um, with, uh, it, I'll be honest with you, the deer I got, it was a monster. Legend of a forest, looked like he lorded over these lands. It took multiple blows to take this beast down. Um, but don't worry, the final blow did hit him in the back of the neck, as I was told. Oh, 
does that track for being vegan? It sounds right. Are you, are you sure about that? Did it did it pierce the special glands when you? It it definitely pierced uh, uh, around that area of the back of the neck where you pointed out. Can I see it? I I dressed the deer out in the wild. You can go find his body. It's about a day's walk that way. Why'd you just leave it there? No, I dressed the deer. I took the meat and I took the. I I took the meat apart. I took the beast apart out in the wild. You didn't, like, so I didn't have to drag the body back with me. No. You didn't bring the bones. No, I didn't need. I I took this anything I could find of use out of a beast and the meat, yeah. and I brought that back. You, you probably have its ribs, actually. You probably yeah. you probably would have taken its ribs. Um, like, Rainbow Drop fucking loves ribs. I mean, you can have. A, wait, I I don't know. Is, is it other ribs by two star natural scrap? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so, so you, you managed to you managed to harvest uh, meat and food for yourself. Yeah. Um, you also managed to get two star natural scrap. Um, yeah. I mean, you can take the ribs, but we should probably eat as well. Well, yeah, obviously, but like you know, you can spare a few ribs for Rainbow Drop. Yeah, that's fine. Poor baby needs to eat something good too. I, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna insight check um, the, ma the man. Ca I haven't lied. Carson. Carson Daly. Okay, I forgot what his name is. Car Car <laughs> Car Carver. Cra what? I don't know his name. I don't know either. I'm just a deer. It's not like I've said it about six times this second. Yeah. I know. And you met him two seconds ago. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so but, bad at this. No notebooks, gang. Notebooks. His name is Carneth <laughs> Von. Carneth. Okay, I'm gonna insight insight check Carneth and Halabney. Hey, roll me roll me insight check Halabney. Roll me deception check. I didn't I didn't lie. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> You, you I, flat out. <laughs> your intention is to lie about the yeah, um, There's no porkies. <laughs> that's good, dear. Oh god, I wrote a four. Oh, it's a, it's I a actually six. beat you. I thought I rolled like shit. I got an eleven. Okay, so you start not quite believing Haladnir. However, as um, as as von Strachan himself did actually assist Haladnir and rolled a 29. What the hell uh, is this guy built <laughs> of? <laughs> he is a very charismatic individual. Um, yeah, man, man's got a 30 in charisma and like a 4 in everything else. Something like that. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you know what? It makes sense. If, if Karnith says that it's right, it must be right. Yeah, I'm starting to trust Carnith more than Haladnir. Okay, all right. If this is ve if it if this is vegan, ve veal? No, that's cows. Um, venison. De deer, venison. Venison. Yes, that's it. Yeah. All right. That's fine. I was gonna go out and see if there is any vegetation, but it's fine. Okay. Um, you guys break for camp. Um, you set up the wagon just off the side of the road. Um, you actually pull the one side of the canvas out and, you know, with some, some basic poles, you can, you can set it up, um, to sort of be more of a shelter and an awning. Um, and you guys, you guys get some rest. Can everyone roll me a D10, please? D10. A D10. Ah, uh, forgot what the D10 is. There it is, got it. Okay, what have we got? Eight. Eight? Seven. 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 Nine. Nine. As you guys settle down, start relaxing. Alakai. The whims of fate in this magical world that we play in have decreed that it's your turn to tell a campfire story. <laughs> this is this is something about your character 
This is a, a tale that they can tell. Um, it has to have some element of truth. But it's your turn to tell the group the campfire story. Ooh. I'll get the marshmallows. <laughs> They're not vegan. What do you mean yeah. they're not vegan? <laughs> yeah. Marshmallows aren't vegan? No. I'm gonna have to go back to Vegan Academy. <laughs> right. Well. Is there a lot? I'm happy to divulge some information about myself. Why does your face look like a can of mincemeat? No, oh, that's mean, but fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've all seen it, and he'll, uh, he'll pull his mask off of this one and sort of pin his hair back. He doesn't use, like, typical hairband to pin his hair back. You see him, like, pull off, like, a little bit of wire and twist it. And more importantly, yeah. how do you still have hair when you look like mincemeat? There's still flesh on my bones, but just not many. It just... I'm a Shadrin. We're made perfect. Uh, I mean, that you steal play. children? No. Some might do. Probably cannibals, but not me. No, I was, uh... From my making day? Yeah. I spent a few years pretty much in the slums of every city I went into. People assuming I eat children. People assuming I was bad. And then a group of mercenaries picked me up and... Well, much like wherever I went, there was no babies going missing. No more disappeared. So, you tell me if I eat kids or not. I've never met a Shadrin that has. Not like I've met many. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I have met any others. But that's what people call me. It's a weird stereotype, isn't it? Like, how some humans like to fuck sheep. <laughs> yeah. Like, Not I'm, the same. I'm, I'm sure they don't. <laughs> like, I'm, maybe there was just one guy who was just like, yeah, that sheep's pretty. I'll be honest with you. I'd rather the rumors of fucking sheep than stealing kids. Yeah. yeah. Shadron are what we tell horror stories about. As children, is what scares you as a child. Yeah. What goes bump in the night, it's a Shadron. <laughs> as for the facial features, and he'll um, take his jacket off and, like, he's got a pretty tight shirt on, but there's no sleeves to it. Um. And all up his arms, you can't see past his gloves because he doesn't take his gloves off, but all up his arms are like... The best way to describe it would be like the, like the cracks in like salt flats you see. But instead of like... Instead of like just raw skin underneath, it's almost like a black oozy texture. Like his hair. That's probably why he keeps the jacket on. <laughs> So you're just weird all over. Oh yeah. It's kind Actually, of cool. the and he lifts his shirt up and, to be honest with you, his chest is pretty much okay. In fact, his torso is fine. So legs he... are pretty good as well. Like you've seen him like roll his like legs up and stuff. His legs don't look horrible. It's just sort of like, working its way down. There is this slight, like when he shows you the sort of the rest of his body that, it's very. Leonardo da Vinci's perfect man diagram where when you mm -hmm. really take time aside from looking uh, looking beyond the horrific mutations and the corruption uh, of this Shadrin his limbs are perfectly equal in length um, it's, it's relatively relatively fit um, not overly strong um, very toned uh, but but fairly yeah even with her strength of mind as well. Yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's it it, it, it almost seems perfect until you hit that corruption. So wait, why 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 the corruption? I don't know. It's probably something to do with being made perfect. 
So when, okay, when, when you say made, like someone like spinning that clay thing and just in a woo, sense, woo, but woo. imagine it uh, a soul and a body. The fuck? Mm. That's so cool. Who created you? Do you know? Don't worship her, so I don't know if I would. <laughs> You probably would. There you go. Like, you probably would. Um, I was made by, correct me if I'm wrong, a, 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 a goddess, but unlike most, she's more frowned upon. But in the end, everyone's got their morals. I have to ask as a DM, have you forgotten or are you lying right now? Partly both, but I'm not going to tell it <laughs> to you away. Partly both? Cool. <laughs> I don't think he would reveal that he knows it. Okay. I think no. it adds to the spookiness. Goddess. But also, I've had a, I've had a, fucking brain fart, and I don't know. I can't remember her name. <laughs> okay. okay. Like, I'm not gonna look either because that just ruins it. But yeah, I did have a quick look from my thing, and I was like, I swear it says it somewhere. It doesn't. Is it likely that any time, like during my life, I've come in contact with a shadrin? How much have you traveled? Well, like. In the town, uh, in in the place that I w I grew up in. Um, it's possible you might have found drifters. Um, they don't tend to stay around very often. Hmm. So I could have like seen somebody like him before, but not really like similar. They are they are quite oftenly different. Hmm. Um, they have their own levels of corruption, and the the corruption affects them in different ways. But they always have that kind of perfect body shape. Uh -huh. uh, it's fairly unlikely you would have conversed with them for, for a long period of time. I'm pretty sure I've known people like... people like Chadron. Probably. I bet you they didn't stick around very long. No. Uh, Probably the daily beatings that'll do you for, do that for you. Oh no, living where we, we were, there was definitely no beating. Well, that's good. I don't think they felt like they fit in, even though we were just a whole company of outcasts. Hmm. Which is weird. We were pretty nice. Ironfoot, you got any questions? None right now. And as for the fighting style, comes from the mercenaries as well. Anything else? I'm feeling talkative for once. <laughs> yeah, let's make the most of this. <laughs> okay, so, um, would anyone else like to do a campfire? You are allowed, you're not forced to, but you may if you wish. Tell a story. I'll answer stuff if people ask me. I'm the same, but. At the same time. Uh... Rayleigh. Yeah? Tell me about where you're from. <laughs> Did I leave it in D&D &D Beyond? No, of course uh, I didn't. I you must have left it somewhere. It's I know. in, um... Thingy. Um... Oh, wait, hang on. I think I know. Do, do, do. I remember stuff. It's just been at least 60 years. <laughs> right. Okay. What's the name of the place? I 
I... Sorry, this shouldn't be taking me this long, but I'm bad at things. Where the fuck? <laughs> did I tell it? Did, did we discuss the name of the place? Um, da, 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 I believe we did. I, um... Oh, wait, I think I got it. Fornhaven. Uh -huh. Yeah. I am from Fornhaven. Continue. Don't just. I, I'm doing, <laughs> <laughs> that means nothing. <laughs> what was your What was your upbringing like? What? Who made you the person you are? Well, I wouldn't call it an upbringing. I'd call it uh, being dragged into adulthood, kind of thing. I don't know if you know anything about Fornhaven, but it's like a refuge. Well kind of like a refuge. There is a refuge. But that's like deep underground. And... Bedrock? Sorry? Nothing. No, it's not under, <laughs> un it's not under bedrock. <laughs> it's in sneaky areas of the, t of the town, avoiding all of the police and avoiding all of the persecuty people. Basically, a bunch of misfits decided to start a gang and they'd help all of the other misfits who were getting mistreated by all of the ridiculous laws that the person in charge of Fornhaven was enacting because, oh my fuck, there was a lot of bad shit going on there. What kind of laws? Like... Uh... Certain races not being able to be together. Oh. Like. <laughs> making certain punishments being legal for being a certain way. Like. God forbid you were not straight. Let's be real. Like. They were just whole ass. Ch well, chop, chop your head off, basically. Out of interest, for races that weren't allowed to be together, what were they? Anything that wasn't a human. Oh, that's less fun. Okay. I am. I believe I already know uh, a bit of where you're from, but would you like to elaborate? Sorry, did that make I will, shit real dark? I, I, will, <laughs> I, I will say, guys, that those of you that didn't, that aren't chosen for a campfire, if someone does ask you a question, you do not have to. Have to. Only the campfire person had to tell the story. Yeah. Just to make sure you remember that going forward. This is something we set aside in the old campaign. Yeah. I was thinking more just so we get to know each yeah, other. You're allowed to. You're allowed to. I encourage it. But but if, though, if there are some of you that don't want to, mm -hmm. you don't have to. It's mostly me just not remembering stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I've already spoken to Ironfoot in the, uh, before about his past, but if there's anything you'd like to elaborate on, you're more than welcome to. Who, me? Yeah. I mean, what do you want to know? Well, you've already told me what happened in the past. Do you want to tell the other two? Just if you do. Uh, sure, I can't exactly well remember what I told you. <laughs> Just tell me. Like. Um, so... Well, I guess I how I came here because I'm from. Uh, oh, my favorite place. I've got it here. I've got it here. <laughs> gonna... It's great that you guys all have your kind of backstories remembered and. Yeah, I know so everything. Can... So oh, that when God. when I am say important dates and places coming up, that you guys can be like, oh, it's about me. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've actually got most of mine remembered i just i had a moment where i like did i put it in there so i would remember their name and i was like i don't think i did i have a funny thing you didn't write down their name you've definitely got the title i tell you they're not a god oh i know <laughs> dqos that's all i'll say i remembered it now um... <laughs> I can't remember the name of the mountain. I can't find it anywhere. M Peak. 
Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, yes. Uh, so I'll start. I I'll, I'll got here, I suppose. So I'm from NP. You might have heard of it. Maybe not. Would that have been given in the information of the continent I was handed over to, handed over with? Uh, you probably would have actually. Uh, N Peak is the long lost uh, and trapped city, last city of the dwarves. Okay. So yeah, I'm from N Peak. Uh, my oh, what was he to me friend? Well, this 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 guy, this inventor I know, um, has a a, a plan for. Is this other guy in this shop? Uh, he's at the campfire. Oh, motherfucker! Mm. I ain't saying that then. I'm from <laughs> Andy. I I I I made it here on a on an an air balloon essentially. What the fuck's um, I I will explain it. In more detail later. You, 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 you seem you seem conflicted with my presence. I'll, I'll take my leave. Um, good night, Obon. Good night. Good night. Good night. He does go a safe distance. He, he quite he seems to understand uh, that you are very reluctant to talk around him. Yeah. No. Nah, fuck that guy. Okay, but he, now, he does leave. Now he's gone. What? Like, should we open that crate? No. Why not? Oh yes. <laughs> I want my documents. Yeah, no, yeah. we can't steal, but we have a deal in place. Let's continue with Wait, the deal. I have such a good idea that will genuinely work. Okay. Let's get into that crate. Whoa. whoa. Iron foot. Can, uh, I have no, some no, of your, can I have some of your good paper? No. Oh, but <laughs> What's the idea? I'm going to replicate we're, we're gonna, your we're, documents. This is a, we're going to start doing a new thing. When Rayleigh really has ideas... She <laughs> talks the idea out loud. Okay. Before enacting said idea. <laughs> I am going to replicate the documents. Perfectly. We already are going to get the documents after the deal is complete. Yeah, Let's just do the deal. This way, we get to look inside the crate. Why? It's I'm, else's... So, I'm so good at replicating shit. I have a kit and everything. I think if we just show a bit of patience. We will get what we want. Yeah, yep. but we could know also, now. We're traveling with this man. We're not stealing from a, or taking things from a man. Hey, we're traveling hey, with it. hey, nobody said stealing. We're just looking. I, but you just said you're going to forge them and replicate them as stealing yeah. his documents. <laughs> it's not his documents, is it? It's Iron Fist's documents. They are my documents. Yeah, if he does not give the documents, we will open the That's crate. fine. We have but a deal in runs, place. But what if he runs away with the documents? He Ooh, won't get very no, far no. from me. I don't know, that guy's slippery. So am I. Literally. Yeah, that's what, true, what, gave you, what, what made you think he's slippery? Intuition. Probably the blood. Okay. I don't know. Sorry. I don't, there's, there's just something like, I don't know, I 100% trust him. He's too posh. Every person I've encountered who's like that, I, uh, they've done some shit to me. Okay, okay. I right, please t continue with your story. Oh, where was I? <laughs> uh, right. Genius inventor. So, I came over on a um uh, airship. Uh, there was a bad storm, and these documents, as you all aware, I was carrying. Um, uh, they're designs to a, a device. I'm not quite sure what it is, but my task is to find the materials, but I need these documents before I can continue. Awesome. Sounds like some really important documents that we could procure. I, if you if you open my chest, I will tell him. Why? Because there's no need to, to, to steal from our companion. Not he's, he's in our charge. We're getting he's asked us to escort him somewhere. Back. Right, Ironfoot's lost them. Yeah. We are going to get them back. We have a deal in I place. Didn't Let's lose not. Them. They were <laughs> blown out of my bag. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, 
And this guy Stand picks them up and he's like, oh, these are mine. I do not lose items. I know where everything is. <laughs> it was taken from me by Luca. <laughs> Forgive me, I am for I apologize. <laughs> Right, um, well, I think we should all get some sleep, and we continue this tomorrow. Sounds good. Alright. Uh, okay. yeah. Um, okay, so you guys begin bedding down and trying to get some sleep. Uh, we need three watches. Who's doing it? Yep. Yeah. One. Two. Three. Cool. Uh, iron foot. Perception check, please. Rayleigh, you're the second perception check, and Alakai, the third perception check. Which one am I losing minus oh. five to? Uh, I believe your perception check is right. Oh, Let's no. <laughs> um, Wait, have I already implemented that? Nope, okay. Wait, I think I did. Because you're missing an eye. I am. Uh, you have not already implemented it. Okay, I'll, I'll add that in at some... What, what's it based on? It's Wisdom. Yeah. Yeah, because you're not okay. proficient in it, and yeah. Wisdom is plus one. That's right, so it'll be a minus four. <laughs> uh, Ivor, what'd you get? Uh, twelve. Really? Um, minus two. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like I... Um, even with the minus four, I've still managed to top it off at thirteen. Nice. Okay. Well, thankfully for Rayleigh, the night goes without hitch. Thank <laughs> you guys do okay. Um, second day breaks round. You guys collapse the camp. Get ready to reboard the wagon. Again, I need one person keeping the lookout and one person driving a cart. Okay, remember, okay. if remember if you do either of those jobs, you cannot um, do anything during that day. Mm -hmm. I'll try driving. Yes. Sounds fun. I'm sure it'll go well. Okay. Okay, I right. can I just keep lookout again. Yeah, I'll have no perception check. Really, either animal handling, which is a harder check, or a vehicles. I don't have a vehicles Check. thing. You can still attempt the roll, but it'll be simply adding uh, either your intelligence or wisdom. With no proficiency bonus. Okay. Um, hmm? oh. You are sat there staring out the back of the back of the carriage and you just like the tip of my staff just dink taps you in the forehead. Um and it, even though it's you know going to be daytime, just to see into the brushes and stuff, I do give you dark vision to make it a little bit brighter in those darker areas. Because you've got dark vision for the next eight hours. Okay. It helps in the morning. Um, not, not not necessarily as important as the day goes on, um, but it does help with some of the deeper parts of the woods. Um, would you get any perception checks, sorry, Helen? Fourteen. Fourteen, and the driving tech check. I am doing such good driving. I got a nat 20 for a 27. Is that... Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. I'm for... You're impressed. They're, they're damn good at driving. <laughs> you do get the feeling this is beginner's luck. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I don't have my horse good. driving license. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Um, so, you guys, again, with with that, you, you actually... You will be arriving in Grimberg midway through the day because Ironfoot got a decent headway start yesterday and you're getting a decent one now. So you guys are only going to spend half a day traveling here. Um, during the day, however, Ironfoot and Alakai, you do get to try and do something. What would you like to try and do? Uh... You can spend the day trying to build something, trying to salvage something. Any other action you'd like to try and do, you can spend the day learning a skill if you have the resources to do so. I'm going to start drawing up your gears for some sort of power gloves for really. This is a good day. Roll me a d20 plus your intelligence modifier. Okay. Um, plus your proficiency. Yeah, plus your proficiency. 
Doubled or not? Not double. This is not a tool check. You cool. are you uh, are trying to this, this you can um you can benefit from spells like guidance um okay, or other, other means, but no, yeah, you not double because okay. it's not an action tool. Okay. Uh dirty twenty. Dirty twenty? Okay. Um you do come up with the idea of some kind of magical gauntlets. Um you do you want to try and come up with a one, two, or three star gauntlet? Oh, two star. Two star gauntlet. Okay. You you get this idea. You realize you're going to need uh two natural. One metal. Um, you're then going to need a. You're going to need two magical scrap. Oof. Where the hell do you get magical scrap from? Magical stuff. Uh, Whoa! I, I can't I really believe uh, it. <laughs> infuse magic item. Uh, a thingy. Uh, you can infuse magic item a basic thingy. Uh, this yeah. if this is a brand new oh, recipe sorry. that you have come okay, up with. Okay, sweet. Yeah, a yeah. brand new thing that you are yeah. you are in the process of determining, and you know that it's going to take you two natural, one metal, and um, two magical. One, two magical. Sorry, two magical. Sorry. That we very cleverly learned comes from magical scrap. <laughs> if. If you guys would like to try and search for magical scrap, you may, whenever you wish to try and make a salvage roll for a day, try and explain to me how you are finding a magical scrap. Now that I know it exists, okay. I might actually try. So I've given all of you this, this, yeah, this on the list. You have metal, wood, precious, magical, and natural. Sick. Is that my day doing that, yeah? Or my half day? It's, it's your half day. Great. But you now actually have some blueprints. Use one sheet of paper. Yeah. Cool. Um, Alakai, anything you want to do? Uh, I'll divvy out the, divvy out the rations I've got. Because <laughs> I've got loads. <laughs> okay. The day goes by rather quickly, um, especially as you only realize you take only half of it to get there, thanks to the uh, expert driving of the two drivers over the course of two days. Um, and uh, we will look at roll, roll 20. And uh, you guys do manage to travel all the way from the mountains by Strip Cliff. Um, I need to click buttons. How are we there already? I thought it was a three day travel. Uh, correct, and you gained uh, a half a day. Half a day on each. Hang on, can I math? Uh, it's three days to travel, sorry, from Strixcliff. Oh, uh, we were on the mountain, weren't we? You were at the mountain. Yeah, I knew I did a thing. And you guys do manage to travel uh, all the way to Grimberg. <laughs> um, so, as you guys begin arriving, you travel towards the city, and uh, as the midday sun hits its t uh, the peak of its crescent, you realize that you can see the city walls. Coming in from the south, you can see a rather well-fortified city, not a town. Um, you can see for uh, quite some ways this large circular wall um, that encompasses the area. You can what you can look to your to your left to the west a manor that sits uh, on a raised uh, raised hilltop. To the right, outside of the city walls itself, a large slum, shanty shacks and dust marks, an area loaded with um, poverty. As you get closer and closer towards the city, you see the gates are open. They're accepting people in freely. There are guards posted. Um, and 
Von Strachen turns to one of you and says, Ah, um, welcome, welcome to Grimberg. Um, I'll give you a brief rundown, as it doesn't seem like any of you have been here before. Um, Grimberg is quite a large city. Um, it's divided into four quarters and a central district. Um, you've probably already noticed the mining slums outside of town. Um, it's where they send uh, a lot of their workers and their criminal population. Um, under guard, of course. Um, we're going to be traveling through the religious district. Uh, and let me bring up the map for you guys. Oh. Whoa. Wow. Jesus Christ. Um, we will be traveling oh. through the corner of faith, um, and we'll be going around uh, the gardens um, and heading our way to the scales. Um, I would probably, you know what, I'll just explain a little bit. Um, the, the corner of faith is the city's religious sector. Um, it, it, every sector is a quarter of this town, um, but uh, this is the main main area of divinity for the populace. Uh, it's filled with preachers, clergymen, um, your, your usual temples. Um, heading around clockwise, you then reach the scales. This is the merchants' quarter. Uh, most of the most of the city's income passes through this area, and it has one of the largest markets uh, the town can offer. On the northern quarter of town, you have the Blades Refuge. This is uh, mercenary homes, guilds, uh, the city barracks is here. Um, uh, also, bordering this and the gravel pits, which I'll come to in a minute, is the arena. Uh, they host games here. Large spectacles, um, a fight pit, one could say. Though it hasn't seen a death in many years, um, as fatal combat is not encouraged um not since the uh not since the previous uh king abolished it um the gravel pits themselves this is the poor district um it is less maintained and it houses although only one quarter of the city's size uh, about 60 percent of the city's population um the surrounding area is Mostly farmland to the north, uh, very little in the in the southwest, as that borders the uh, the seasonal change of the winter wood, and it's very hard to grow food there, as it is perpetually in a state of winter. Um, but uh, aside from that, uh, the city does well. The gardens. Um, we will be heading here afterwards. I have uh, a room and a building available. We have rented a manor. Um, uh, whilst I'm there, and you are more than welcome, please, to, as my guests, spend your time there. Um, at least for the short time being until you can settle yourselves. Obviously, if you wish to uh, head out and find your own accommodation or join the guilds, you are vastly more than welcome. What kind of guilds? There are many in the town. Um, you have the... Uh, do, 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 let me quickly look at my, my notes. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, you have the Merchants Guild, the Adventurers Guild, you have the, um, da -da -da, why have I deleted that one? It just says the ring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Ring of Conquest, I remember it now. Um, this is a fight club, but it, there is a rule about fight club. Um, we don't talk about it. Oh, them. yeah, we got to stop talk talking. <laughs> um, so we'll stop there, because it has a second rule as well, which you don't want to reference. Um... <laughs> And, uh, and those are the three major guilds in the area. There are smaller ones that are beneficial for the town itself, but they tend to be small group meetings, agricultural meetings, that kind of thing. But the major one is the merchants, the uh, the adventurers, and the, the ring of conquest. Cool. Okay. Where can they be found? Uh, the, 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 the Blades there. Refuge. The Blades okay. Refuge. Cool. I might take a visit. Sounds fun. Seeing as we've completed our end of the bargain, can you return that paperwork to my companion? Uh, of course, we we it's unlikely that we're going to get waylaid between here and the guards at the gate. Um, let me find that for you. He turns around and uh, he digs into his private. Oh, take a look. 
Yeah, same. <laughs> I want to know. Uh, make, like make, a, me a, make me a perception check. He like is... a bunch of bloody cartoons yeah. just leaning over his shoulder. <laughs> he, he is going to actively attempt to hide this from you guys. Uh... He does seem to want his privacy, but he also understands the curiousness of his companions. Where'd it go? Oh, it landed like fucking diamond up. Eh. Eh. Oh, it's a minus four. Eleven. Save! <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. Anyone else looking? No. No. Okay. Um, he hides it from you. Fuck. Rather well. <laughs> um, rather well. Um, however, he does then pull out um, a single sheet of paper. And he turns to one foot. Uh, this is the only one I actually found. Um, I thought it was rather interesting and at some point I, I wouldn't mind a conversation about it but uh, here you go and he, he hands it over to you um, I'm fair. are you trying to hide this from your companions? Uh, I'll put it away I'm going to look at it and make sure it's like yeah it is what it is okay. so you're, it you're, you're giving it a look is anyone trying to look at that document? Mm. no yeah, uh, yeah. Someone, when I was someone trying to look I, I would be a bit quicker at folding it up <laughs> yeah. I fast Okay, uh, okay, um, again, I don't see anything. Guys. Um, <laughs> give me, uh, uh, Ironfoot, make me a either roll an initiative or roll a sleight of hand check. <laughs> They're both the same. Okay. Oh, God. <gasps> Jesus Christ. No <laughs> well, way. I beat it. Save, and oh. I did terrible. Oh. Same, but I did terrible. But I rolled a natural twenty, so it was twenty-one. <laughs> yep, twenty-one. Eight uh, yeah. and eight. You both <laughs> actually see it. Um, <laughs> I put, um, so the first thing that you two notice is that this is a this is a um, a piece of parchment, but inlaid in the middle is just just blue, and there's lots of white grid lines. Um, and you look at this page. There's loads of writing. Do either of you speak Dwarvish? No. No. <laughs> like, you don't understand a single fucking word. <laughs> um, wow, it'd be but, powerful, right? but there's one thing you kind of do notice, and there's a picture. And it is really, really weird. You can't quite get it. There's lines on top of other lines. Some are lighter, some are darker. Um, some of them intersect. Some of them look like they're drawn inside the other drawing. Um, but above all, the thing that you all notice, and it's been a while since you've looked at these items, but, um, this is a series of wheels, rows and rows of them layered on top of each other, um, with connecting cogs, um, Ironfoot, this is a track system. Out yeah, of character for a second, are you making a tank? Oh my god, you're making a tag. <laughs> I will not drive out, currently. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is indeed a track system. Um, wow. And um, as, you, as you look at the track system, you realise that it's going to require... Oh god. 15 two-star metal. Yep. Yeah. Two two-star magical. Magical. Okay. Uh, and it will take you about a week to build. That's just okay. Um, you look in the bottom corner and written in Dwarvish. Uh, this is page number two of nine. Ooh. Okay. I can't wait to find the gun page. I can't wait till you find it either. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. That's so cool. Page. Uh, Carnef. Yes? It's, is there like a raven sender here? Or um, somewhere to send uh, letters, but by air preferably? Uh, uh, a way, uh, uh, a parcel service, a courier service. In, um, in theory, yes, but or just, a or just a letter service. A, a, Preferably a letter service, but one that uses boats. 
Uh, possibly. Depends on how far you wish to send it. Uh, if there is, you'll find it in the, the scales. Okay, so when we go, we're going to the scales? Yes. We are, briefly. Um, I'm only here to um, make a transaction and then get some much needed rest at the gardens. Could and you then drop me off on your way and then grab me on the way back? <laughs> well, it's your wagon, if anything. You're dropping off me. Yeah, that's, oh, that's true. Fair. Also, I'm driving, so I drop everyone off wherever we want. Okay. Well, um, I would appreciate it if you could drop me off first. Also, it would unlighten the load of your wagon. I mean, that yeah. if there are any... That's fine. Problems. I was planning on doing that. Oh, good. Thank you. Um, we're heading to the main market. It's on the uh, southwestern quarter of the quarter. Southwestern quarter of the quarter. Got it. Yeah, you should be able to see the, the, the Grand Temple from the, the cathedral. I'm sure I'll see it when I see it. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Grunberg, guys. Uh, this is a, as you can see from the from the um, picture, a rather rather large city. There's a lot going on. Um, we're going to take a quick ten minute break. Um, go water. Go whatever you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is not working. I've been at work all day and it's been a rough one. Um, but yeah, go 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 drink, go pee, go eat, whatever you need to do in ten minutes, and we'll be back at. Uh, 22 minutes past. As Dizzy very helpfully says, go piss girl. Go piss girl. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> we'll see you in a minute, guys. Yeah, you'll... Boop, boop, boop. I muted my microphone and I said uno momento. I'm going to go piss girl.
There you go. We're, we're, we're unmuted now. I can, I can go back to regular screen. Oh, for four minutes. Four minutes? I yeah. mean, no. That's that's ten minutes. Oh, no. Does that mean it took me six minutes to get upstairs? Yeah. You broke it. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> you struggling, honey. Yeah, I have to speak to a doctor this week. A very large amount of people have said that I have POTS. Which is, I, I'm affectionately referring it to as Pot Girl Passy Out Disease. Because, <laughs> like, all of my seizure history um, was non epileptic. And there's okay. just, like, so many other things that I, I tick off on a little. Um, on the on the little checklist of symptoms sheet, I'm just like that's too many things. I'm I'm taking off too many of those, and I'm super fucking sensitive to heat. Okay, it hurts. Right. <laughs> I do not talk like that. Well, be better. <laughs> <laughs> that is a threat. Be better. That's a command. All the hottest besties have pots and a diagnosis is a step closer to getting help. Yeah, that's true. All the hottest people have pots and, you know, dizzy. Right there. Prime example. Ugh. Yeah, like the last two days have just been exhausting. Ed rolled a for the first time and I was like, everything was going fine until it really wasn't. And I was just then like, you pushed yourself today. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really push myself. We walked slowly. In 20 degree weather. Yeah, it's not even that hot though. <laughs> and I had an ice lolly. Why am I not fixed? <laughs> <laughs> I heard that ice lollies are, are the cure to hot. Yeah, exactly. But only twisters. Oh, really? Oh. Shit, top I could beer. have bought Twisters. It's got to be a Twister. It's got to be a Twister. It's all those, like, multi colors. Twisters are pretty good. Mike agrees. Twisters are king. Oh, I had fruit pastel lollies, though. Yeah. Because, my, like, my options in the Tesco freezer was, like, Soleros, which aren't ice lollies. Oh, but they are really good. They're, They're really banging. good, but I really wanted to just... I just wanted an ice lolly. Like, because I'm fucking hot, and I'm like, I need to cool down, so ice lolly. Yeah, you are. <laughs> woo woo. And, yeah, and the uh, the other options you were mini well. Calypsos. And, like, I would love a Calypso, but a full-size one, please. Yeah, not, um, not, even, no not even a Cornetto. No, because it's not an ice lolly, is it? The transphobia. Oh, no. is oh, no, sorry, my flag <laughs> The trans flag was like, how dare you not have a fucking full-size calypso? Get a fucking full-size calypso. <laughs> Wait, how the hell? Okay, this is, this is dangerous. Um, this is genuinely very dangerous. Why am I doing this? Uh, you're gonna... Oh, I'm you do not end up flashing stream. I wear, I'm wearing safety shorts. They're all good. Everyone can see how cute my skirt is, though. Is that when you got when we were in Manchester? Yeah. I love you. Vera cute. Prefixy <laughs> fights. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that was uh, for a, f a few seconds <laughs> only. That's um, that that's that's a sneak preview of what you can get on my only thighs. Only thighs. <laughs> only toes. That is all we could. That is all we could see in shot. Yeah. Thighs. You got. You gotta. You gotta give me money for more. Whereas if you go to my OnlyFans, you can get my naked ironing. Drop the link. Drop the link. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a big. It. <laughs> it's my. Have you heard about my naked ironing business? I'm gonna no. make it. I'm gonna make it a thing. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get people to pay me to uh, like probably students because there's face it sounds full of them and they can't iron their clothes properly. So I'm going to I'm going to iron their clothes and I'm gonna like be in a photo shoot. I'm just gonna be naked ironing. But I'm gonna make sure there's always a trouser leg hanging off the ironing board to cover my naughties. Sorted. <laughs> yeah. And if you subscribe, the trouser leg gets ironed. To the <laughs> Double bonus, right? I get like paid by the students to iron their shit, and paid Sorry? by the subscribers. <laughs> uh, drop us the link, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm in. Let me... I mean, I can't. You can't floor my business plan. Lemon, did you see uh, Warlock's suggestion? 
Only Lemon Bus. Yeah. Nobody wants that. <laughs> yes, they do. Warlock wants it. He's your first subscriber. I want it. No. Mike wants it. <laughs> Uh, Mike should have come to the gay bar with us. <laughs> Mike should have come to the gay bar with us. It was very, very fun. Can I take the photos? Can you take the photos? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Mike's going to take dirty pictures of you then. No. I'm, I'm <laughs> back to work tomorrow, so you can. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. You're back to work tomorrow. <laughs> dirty photos. None of us want that. I'm not going to be there with a lorry behind me like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, but if people subscribe, they can watch you massage your lemons. Yeah! <laughs> Hi, Flutter! And like that, we're all back. <laughs> Perfect timing. Flutter, you missed my thighs. And uh, Lemon Bus is opening his, um, only Lemon Bus. And Pete has a naked ironing business. Only Lemon Bus sounds like um, a business where you just drive a Lemon Bus. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, I should right. get my I should get my bus license. You should. Everyone, <laughs> I mean, that'd be dope. I'm pretty certain if you got a bus license, Skinny would find you a bus to like chop up to be some sort of Mad Max shit. I could definitely fuck <laughs> the bus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I work on it. I got no problems. I'll do my bus license. So now that we're all back, yeah, let's <laughs> go. Continue. You guys. Um, arrive through the gates. The first thing you notice is that there's actually quite a stream of people um, coming from the slum district to the uh, south, pardon me, southeast, um, and they're going through the gate. Um, these are all industrial workers. You can see the signs of the mines that they work in, soot over their clothing. Uh, it's not rags, but it's close. You can see, um, you see like heavy leather work, gloves and boots, um, like clothing that you can see that they are trying to wash it, but the 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 work of the day or the morning has already paid its toll. Um, you do notice that there there are several guards that are stopping specifically the miners. Um, they're pulled to the side and they're packed down every single one. Um, you guys, however, are let on through without without a single worry. As you continue through the streets, which direction would you like to head? Really, you're at the helm, so you get to choose. Well, we were dropping off um, Carnage. The, Carnic. The, grand, the grand market that he's requested you to go is here. Okay. Yeah, let's... You um... make it which route you go. Oh, okay. Which way are we coming from? South, the... where the party marker is. Oh, sick! I see it. Okay. Um. Well, let's go directly left and end up this road. Okay. Um, you take the immediate left and you travel across. Um, as you travel through this portion of the um so corner of faith, mm. you do travel past a couple of people all crowding around a small sort of stand that's been erected it's no more than a couple of boxes just piled on top of each other um and on top of it there is a preacher um he seems to be preaching to the masses um a couple of the key words that you uh, overhear um as you go past are um uh little, uh i can read it's been a long day guys i'm sorry um uh blessed are the workforce May the gods protect you from those sentenced to work aside you. Um, and um, call, uh, call praise to the lords for they keep our town running. Are there... And you, that, that is mostly what you overhear. Are the workers forced to work? Wait, are they, like... Because you said some of them are criminals, right? Um... Is this... Are you asking me? Or are you asking... I'm asking Carnif. Oh, Carnif. Um, Carnif turns to you and he says, Um, so there is a large amount of labour for the mines. It's the town's major source of income and trade. Um, uh, however, it is not forced. Not unless you are found guilty at court. 
based on the severity of your crime, based on how deep you must work in the mines to pay off your criminal tax. Huh. The, there is no jail cell in the town. But there it's is a grueling way. mine that they could die in. Yes. And the severer your crime, the more likely you are for an ultimate punishment in the mine. But um, the town itself has no executions, no uh, flogging, no stocks. Huh. I should have come here sooner. Yeah, this doesn't seem too bad. Labor release, isn't it? I cannot say too much. I'm not a nobleman here. I, I, do, I only spend a little bit of time in trade. Um, but uh, the mines seem almost fair. Well, you make back what you steal. Yeah. Correct. Valid. What? Uh, so the religious course, I assume this is quite a religious city? Fairly, yes. Um, the preachers in the area do rather well at um, maintaining their flocks. Um, there is one that seems to be more prevalent than the others. Um, the high priest I don't quite remember his name I myself I'm sure that I'd probably burst into flames if I walked into a holy place here I am not a religious person at all um, but uh, it does seem to be uh, a rather charismatic individual especially amongst the poor I've heard many things about the sermons of the high priest hmm. okay is there much crime Around here? I must admit, I spend most of my time when I'm here either in the scales uh, in the scales or in the garden. Um, you don't see much. Nothing in the garden itself. Oh, absolutely. Okay. That's fine. I mean, uh, it's a massive city, on? so it's probably a bunch uh, of crime. As you can expect, there is probably a large amount of crime, as with all civilization. Mm -hmm. Let's go through this this thing that okay as you as you proceed further along you hit the other main road and you turn right you as you uh, get to here you see a vast cathedral this thing is huge castles are smaller than this cathedral right there uh. uh, some castles like minor lords um their, their keep would be smaller than this cathedral um <laughs> From this side, you actually don't see much. You're, cu you're currently looking at the back of the th cathedral, but you do see, um, as it splits into this sort of cross at the back, sprawling, maybe 15 feet high, um, stained glass windows, all depicting different gods. Um, most seem to be signs of gifts and blessings being bestowed upon the people below them. Fucking big. Okay, and then. Um, sorry? Can everyone roll me a perception check? Yeah. Um, is there any point? I rolled a seven <laughs> again! <laughs> I did fine! 19. 19! 14. 14. <laughs> Minus one. Nice. One. <laughs> nice. Um, uh, no, zero flat, actually. I keep forgetting zero is an option here. <laughs> talk, talk, you're on a four. Um, and so, uh, as you guys continue, um, Iron Foot and Rayleigh, you do notice that at, just before you turn the corner heading north towards the market, somewhere over here, you actually see a group of priests. Um, and as they're walking, they seem to be walking towards the entrance of the cathedral. Um, the interesting part about these priests is that they only have half of their robes. It only covers up to their waist. Um, it's more like a long skirt. And their backs are entirely exposed and absolutely littered with scars. Oh, I was oh, about no. to say sexy priests, but um, apparently not. <laughs> you do notice that before you lose line of sight of them, that as they you, you can't you can see that they're speaking 
in unison, but you can't make out what's here. This is a really busy town. There are lots of people around you. Um, but every now and again, they'll stop speaking, and you notice as they bring their arms up, and they seem to have, all of them seem to have a cat and nine tails in their hand, and they are flogging their backs and splitting the skin. Is it like that thing in Monty Python where they were like, Very oh, similar. Oh, very, oh, very, oh. very, very <laughs> similar, but they're not whacking their head with a the book. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they, are, they, are, they are flagellating themselves. Oh. Of the person who plays Vision in the Da Vinci Code. If you've seen that uh, movie. Yes, actually, yes. I'm just going to think about Monty Code. Python, it's way better. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've got... Valid, valid. <laughs> um, but it's this is a it's that the amount of scarring and fresh wounds on their back is almost it's borderline horrifying. Um, you continue. Hmm. Where'd you go? Uh, we. Are... I need to flip a coin. We're I need going. to flip a coin. Hang on. It's a ketchup packet. Fine. And right as we go past them, very quietly, Alakar goes, Somewhere in the world, people get off on this. And then, uh, we can bring it on. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go up that, that little road to the, to the scales. Okay. Um, as you go past this direction, nothing of note. And, uh, as, as you turn and pull in towards the market, you come to a stop. Your wagon is almost waylaid by the amount of people here. Um, it becomes a grinding crawl. You're stuck in. You're stuck in um, uh, in a real heavy foot traffic. There are lots of wagons, congestion. Things are moving, but incredibly slowly. Um. Um, as as this happens, uh, you do notice that Carniff sort of pulls himself a little bit closer to his goods, um, sort of sitting near the, the centre of the wagon. Did um, I take the wrong turning? No, no, this is it. Um, it's a very, very busy marketplace. Uh, usually I would ask for some escort from the gardens, and the guards are pretty good at being a deterrent for people to simply get out of the way. But as we've arrived many days late, I'm kind of hoping we can get here just in time for my um, for my buyer to still accept the fair price that we, arra we arranged before my arrival. Out of game question, did we put the sides up and the top on the cart, yes or no? You would have during travel, unless you were trying to conceal yourselves, which I don't think you were. So we've got like protection from the sides, essentially. No, we you only have to really worry about like hands coming in the back of the car. You would. So your car is fairly fairly high, um, and it does have a side panel. Someone would have to really try to to nick something here. I'll, uh, uh, out of your wagon. Not to cause any damage, but like an angry nan at Christmas when you try and take too many parsnips, like I'll smack anyone's hand that I see try and come <laughs> over and grab something on the car. Okay. Um, so far, no, 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 no drama. Um, with your perception, it, you won't probably notice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it um, works passively. Yep, yeah, it is worse passively. Um, with my passive perception, would I be able to see if anyone did try and do anything in hunky dory? We have a dog. Right, yeah. We'll find out if they try. Um, okay. We have a dog. The dog's going to know. Dog. Yeah, but if a dog gets involved, it dies. No, it's just going to bark. Just, you know, someone tries to snip the hand in. We're all good. <laughs> sounds, sounds, sounds like, like the dog's involved. Um, if you wish to station... Rainbow drop as uh, as a guard for the for the wagon. You may. Oh, I don't like it how you <laughs> said that. I just wanted to bark. To to or, I just wanted to see whether or not you think that is involving him. It is involving him. <laughs> I don't want to lose Rainbow Drop. Can, can he just um, can he just bark? I'm sure he will if he's <laughs> been trained to protect your equipment. Um, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> which I know he hasn't. No. Um, <laughs> But aside from that, he is still a dog. If he gets agitated, he will bark. Um, so, 
as you guys come to a sort of a, almost a grinding halt, there's a moment where uh, Carnef does sort of oh, sigh. Uh, if it would be easier, I'm sure that uh, we can only move a little bit further in. Uh, you can drop me and my supplies off, and I will. Uh, I'm sure I, I have some money. I can pay some hands. There are probably plenty of people here that need the work and are willing to run. You guys can be on your way if you wish. Uh, this is this is beyond a reasonable request. I mean, we're here and we're staying with you, so we might as well make the commitment to stick with you. Do you want me to try and move people out the way? Uh, please, if you think you can do something about this. I have an Don on the Put on the dwarven iron suit. Gets out in front and just starts shouting in, like, swear words in dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me an intimidation check. Guidance! Do you have a d4 for guidance? Oh, sweet. Uh, I've also... Can I re-equip my armor as well, please? You may. You may. Oh, nice. 19? A 19? Three from guidance? Um, you step out from the wagon, you step out in front of the wagon and you start barging your way past a couple of peasants um, and you get to the front. And you guys have not really seen a loud iron foot yet, but it's a spectacle. There is something about this that is militarily precise. Um, it almost looks like he might have actually done this kind of work before uh, as he is marching forwards at a steady pace and shouting at anyone that gets close. This is like if you walk in front of the Queen's Guard at fucking Palace of Patrol, like you've always seen the videos. Um, he almost doesn't stop and is like nearly running people over. <laughs> like, um, yes, okay. We throw a bit of backstory into this one then. Do I clock the militant vibe to him? You would, yes. You would definitely clock some form of military doctrine. Um, okay. It's not one that you're very familiar with. Your mercenaries are mercenaries, but you've seen this. You've you've been around that kind of environment, um, especially with the conflict that you're involved with. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is different, though. Uh, there is similar tactics you can come to your conclusion that the two races have different approaches. <clears throat> one is quick and fluid this one that you're experiencing here is a brick yeah um and and, and, and with that role an effective brick um yeah. as uh, yeah people do scatter and um you you do you make it way you make your way through into the market um Carnef every now and again just says, uh, oh, this is that one over there. Um, uh, other side of this one, that's it. That's what I've read there. And it, and it doesn't take long for you guys to stop your wagon beside a sort of bright turquoise tent. Um, <laughs> I like you it. Can, you can see um, a pair of elves. Um, it's an interesting one. Um, one elf is very thin, very lithe, as you expect most of them to be. Um, and of almost a copper skin. This golden blonde long hair and these really striking um, amber colored eyes. And they're dressed in yellows and whites with oranges and reds amalgamated into a pattern. And this is the bit that really gets to you, Alakai. Standing beside them is an elf with nearly white skin. Uh, blue long hair and uh, a tattoo of a crescent moon that starts on at the top of one eye, crests all the way down to their jawline and stops in the centre just underneath their lips. Um, it's a white tattoo with a black outline um, and is paler than their skin. Um, they look up and wave towards the wagon that they themselves are busy talking to uh, a long line of um, I'm going to say fashionable quite well off looking individuals um, their clothing is pristine 
It is exciting, quite a, it is of high quality. Um, and um, Von Strachan turns to you and says, uh, if you could help me just unload the boxes, I'm going to go and have a chat with my, uh, with my buyers. Um, I would appreciate it if you let me uh, talk alone. Um, and I should get a very good price for this. I'm more than happy to, to also pay you all for your rescue and your escort and your services. Um, but I would appreciate it if my business were kept on my business. Yeah, that's fair. It's your business. Uh, brilliant. If you could unload the boxes and just put them to the side of the tent there, um, I'll be right back. On it. And he walks off to have a conversation. Um, he bypasses the line and goes around tables that they've got set up in the front of their tent and seems to be speaking to what Alakai, you would, and actually Hladne, you probably would also notice. Uh, I believe. Yeah, you would definitely notice. Um, this is a Noomling, a, a moon elf. And uh, to both of your surprises, actually, considering your backgrounds and your characters, the other one is a Soling. Huh. Oh, no. Two elves that a continent away are empires at war with one another. These two seem to be getting on just fine. Sick. Okay. Um, is there anything you guys would like to do? Yeah. Whilst... Yeah, what do I have to do? I would very much like to wander over to that bit that's got all of the guilds in. So if anybody wants to come with me, totally fine. I'm not stopping anyone from coming. Is this after we've finished unloading? Yeah, yeah. I'll unload the boxes and then go. Okay. And I won't um, take the carriage if anybody else wants it. I'm going to stick with the carriage slash on Strachan. Hmm? Until he shows me where the mail servicing is. Okay, the courier service. <laughs> There's mail servicing here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh shit! <laughs> yeah, go to the right part of town. <laughs> well, there's definitely cat and tails about. I mean, he could have just said the post office and avoided all of that. But... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so you're hanging around until you can get shown the courier service. Um, Rayleigh's abandoning the wagon after unloading the goods and heading off to try and find the guilds. And if anyone is welcome to come with. Have we got somewhere to stay? Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the manor. Oh, yeah, of course. The garden. I don't think I've been um, in a house that big. Before we all split off, so I don't know many people in the city, I assume we would all be uh, agreeable to spend some more time together going forward? You guys seem fine. Yeah. You got you guys are useful. <laughs> okay. You haven't killed me yet or betrayed me, so So should I go up to the Blades Refuge and have a look around to see if there's any work for us to do up there? What was the Blades Refuge? The Guild That's where the mercenaries yeah. are. Um, yeah, I and, mean and... And the guilds. And the guilds. Yeah, I was direction. going in, in that direction anyway. I kind of want to see yeah. some stuff that I'll talk right. about if I see it. Did you forget what it's called? No. Okay. I'm just being deliberately secretive. Okay. Yeah, then I will go with Rayleigh. Woo woo. Okay. Oh yeah, when's that? When's that? But when's Von's Dragon going to pay us? Is he just doing it now or are we waiting? And he seems to be conducting a transaction at the moment, okay. trying to sell his, sell his goods. Alright, I guess we'll wait. Yeah, I'll wait till one tracker comes out, and then right. I'm going to take the wagon and try and find some scrap metal about the sea. Sounds good. Are you looking to try and acquire it, or buy it? Uh... They're both. <laughs> Okay, um, I will say that trying to acquire it does involve some level of vandalism, um, ah, like that's my favorite, or theft, <laughs> like one Woo! or the other. Yay, theft! Um, um, I'm gonna buy it probably. Before y'all go out to look for some mercenaries, um, this this is gonna be I finally figured out a mercenary company name, Pete. So we're going for this one. Um, okay. So I'll write it down and tag it somewhere so we both know what it's called. Yes, please. <laughs> um, 
there's a band of mercenaries that you, I mean, depending on how much they've outstretched over the years, run by two people, conveniently called themselves the Twinses Mercenary Group. Don't go with them. Twins is like they're twins? Like twinsies? Something like that. A pair of dickheads. Cute. One of them goes by Marius. I can't remember what the other one was called. <laughs> We're just dragging them in from the old campaign, are we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They have to stay a moment where both me and Pete looked at each other and went, oh, we're doing this. <laughs> yeah. I genuinely can't remember the other one's name. I so can't you're just wait Marius from me. for the inevitable moment we all end up in the arena and Marius and Riga are there. That's the <laughs> one. Yes, Marius and Riga. I can't will forget be, them. Uh... I spent a year convincing everyone that they were friendly. <laughs> yes, those are the two. Ignore that group. They'll probably end up fucking you over somehow. <laughs> hey, okay. look, no campfire, and you find things out about me. Oh, you all owe me one for that. <laughs> Noted. I'm gonna. Uh, I can't even borrow von Strachan, can I? Do I have a rough idea of which way we're going? Um, looking around, you with a quick traverse of the market, there is actually someone selling town maps oh cool okay um it, it will cost you four silver pieces yeah that's for, a de for a detailed town map yeah that works i get lost easy okay um four silver pieces um Wonderful. all right so just to make sure i've got this right um Alakai is hanging around with von striken until he can get taken to a courier service um Ironfoot's doing the same, but afterwards he's going to attempt to try and find uh, someone to buy metal scrap. I mean, you're in the market right now, mate. They probably better to do it now, unless you're yeah. deliberately staying with the wagon. I mean, I need to wait for some money. Yep, cool. As well, that's the issue I'm thinking about. <laughs> I mean, I'll, um, no, I'll keep going, haggle, and then come back to the wagon. Okay, it is possible. Um, um, and then, duh, 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 um, I believe Rayleigh and Helena are all going off together to the uh the blades refuge the most unlikely pairing ever yes i do find it a little bit hilarious but that <laughs> is the plan all right so as you guys get your town map uh, you do notice that the um adventurers guild is here near the north end of town um the Which, which guild are you after? I am not after a big guild. What are you looking for? I'm trying, trying to see if I can find the less lawful kind of people. Why am I with you? <laughs> <laughs> you um... didn't know. Okay. You're used to this kind of town. It's similar in size and population to the one that you're from. Um, you do know that it's very unlikely that there will be a public access guild. Oh no, I, guild yeah. Not looking for public. For this kind of thing. I want to find like a dive bar. Okay. The, the um, weird kind of entrance that I could get like a little conversation with somebody. Okay. There on... Uh, let me have a think here. There's a lot of bars and taverns, mostly, mm -hmm. on this map. You're not sure which one of them could be a dive bar. I... okay, that's fine. Can I do two things? Go for it. Um, I'm entirely unsure as to what... wait, what's the law like here? Is you have no idea? Yeah, is magic illegal? We are about to find out if magic is illegal. Um, I am going to cast... Um, hold up one moment. Um, enhance ability. Mm -hmm. And use Owl's Wisdom. Okay. 
And then I would love to make <coughs> a perception check. What are you trying to look for? I'm trying to look for something or someone that sticks out for me specifically. For you, for you specifically? Yeah. Uh, maybe a perception check. At advantage. Mm-hmm. Please don't fuck me up. Okay. Can I help? Uh, no, I wouldn't know anything from your past. Ignore me. Yeah, you don't know what I'm looking uh, for. Yeah, without knowing what they're looking yeah. for. Yeah, it's I would have, have no way. You and do I... notice that they're, they're looking around. Yeah. But. Are you going to ask? Uh, um, I got a 16. A 16? Yeah. Um, Looking around this area. No one's really sticking out. There's so many people here. Mm. It's very claustrophobic, especially like you're used to this when you used to run uh, like pickpocket, pickpocket gangs mm-hmm. and diversion could get like teams. This is in reality, this is a prime hunting ground. Uh huh. So it being. But a... even then, you don't know. Yeah, I don't know how they work. Why right there's not a lot. You don't know. Yeah, you don't know any faces. You do the usual. You yeah. look for groups of kids. Um, you look for people separated out that seem to be watching other people specifically. Yeah. Um, but it's hard here. Are there any you, you smaller roads for, I can go down? Like um, with less yeah, people? Matt. I do. Um, 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 like essentially just weaving in the big clusters. Around the merchant, uh, the scales where you currently are. Wait, uh, no, the guild bit. You want to head towards the yeah. guild bit and do it again? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so around this area, you're not really seeing much. You guys head north and head towards Blades Refuge. Um, Iron Foot. Mm-hmm. Make me an investigation check. Okie dokie. I'm pretty good at those. I rolled a three, but I got an eleven. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it takes a bit of time, um, but you you do begin to hear the telltale sound of Hammer and Anvil somewhere in the southern end of the market. You barge past several people, uh, make your way, and to your surprise, you see a bold-headed, bright ginger-bearded dwarf quite pale in complexion, hammering away on the southern end of the market. Um, He doesn't seem to have any customers. (laughs) Um, But but there is... There is, um, as he's sort of hammering away, there's this sort of freedom in his movement. He seems happy to be here. And more importantly, there is a huge flagon of ale sat next to him. But every now and again... He just starts drinking. Excellent. Whilst working with sharp and burning tools. As you should. <laughs> obviously. Obviously. It's like 80% water. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you want to do? I'm, I'm going over there. Okay. You wander up, and as, as, you, as you wander across, sort of looks up and. Oh! Hello! Oh! oh Cost! Oh! Hello, uh, that's a strange one. Who are you? I'm. No, 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 sorry, you you were speaking. I I just what? just gonna say it. there's not a lot of us in town. I thought I knew all of them. That's that's right. I I'll, I'll, I'll undo the armor and get out of it if I can. That is a mighty fine piece of kit. Oh, you selling it? Uh, no, definitely oh, not. Oh, drat. Uh, I'm Ironfoot. Ironfoot? I'm Trundle! Um... Yes! <laughs> Trundle. Right, which Trundle. means they survived. <laughs> cool. Um... What can I do for you, laddie? Uh, you know, what, what do you do with your offcuts and scrap? Uh, usual, melt it down, try and reforge it. Obviously, it's always a little bit weaker, but uh, I, I got a stack around here somewhere. What, which one scrap for? Well, I'm, I'm, 
I'm also, I like to forge and craft and create, as you can see, this beautiful armor piece. Um, oh, I, I skilled you off by the looks of it. You make it. I did. Hey, well, um, I'm not sure what else I can help you with, but you really want some crap when you yeah. work on stuff like that. I, 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 need, I need some scrap to start working on some new ideas. Uh, right, um, well, I've, I've got a bit. If you, um, want to check it out? If you don't mind. Right, right, and, and he does wander over it. He, he, he gestures you to come into his, into his, um, uh, he's got quite a large tent. Uh, it's open-sided, but he's then erected sort of like a, um, almost like wooden walls around that he seems to have nailed down. Um, and he takes you over to a pile of scrap. Looking at it, this is all one star scrap. Okay. Um, any of it good? I've, I've got this. Is my throwaway pile. How much is there? Um, taking a look, there's maybe, maybe five scraps worth. How much do you want for the lot? For the lot? Uh, going by... Throw away. Uh, that's quite a lot. He truck does a bit of math in his head. Um, I'd say about a thousand gold. Jeez. Although this is low quality stuff for the amount of scrap you need, this is a lot of okay. low tier material. Okay. Um, the resource that you use for the crafting system doesn't necessarily equate to a piece. Yep. Fair. It's just the, the the amount that you need for the quality. Yep. Okay, I'm with you. Okay, no worries. I will not bother with that. Hey, oh, before you leave, before you leave, what kind of, what is it you need it for? If you don't mind me asking. Well, I'm looking to make it uh, some gauntlets for one of my allies. Gauntlets, eh? Um. Right? Um, I, how much do you need? That's a lot of scrap. I mean, that was for other side projects later on. I was just like, got to stockpile it, but... Right, right. Well, I I can see that... Uh, I can see that you, you might be in the business of trade. Um, tell you what. I can go 180 a piece. 180 a piece. What about if I work in your forge with your materials and craft you some items that you can sell? He takes a look at your armor. <laughs> he looks back. Make me persuade and check his advantage. Ooh. That's good. I got minus one. Okay. Uh, 17. 17? Okay. Um... That might knock it down a bit. Um, how long are you willing to work? A week? A day? Uh, how long would I know? What what kind of what kind of items do you want knock, knocking up? There you go. Well, um, that depends on what you can make, really. Pretty much about anything. Okay. Well, um. If you're confident, we can go for some higher tier stuff. Um, yep. Weapons and arms to sell at the Adventurers Guilds and the uh, the Ring of Conquest normally goes a pretty penny if you're good at it. But it's tough. Could knock down quite a bit. Where did you train? Uh, uh, NP. <laughs> Come on, where did you train? NP. He sort of looks you dead in the eyes. And... You're not joking. No. How? Just how? <laughs> it's a long story. Tell you what. You work two days should be long enough for you to tell me this story. And, uh... 
I'll split the proceeds with you. Sounds fair. 70-30. Ooh. <laughs> I'll say 60-40, but when you see the quality of these items, you'll want, it'll be 50-50. 65-35, and if you do good, I'll pay you more. Put his hand out. And he grabs it and he shakes it, and the customary pulls it in and nuts your one. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and uh, a deal is made. Um, all right, are you starting now, or do you need a, need a moment? Uh, give me some time. Let me find out what the rest of my uh, friends are doing, and then I will. I'll come back. Part of a party, are you? I. Uh, Relatively newly formed, but they seem okay. Oh, I, I was part of a party once. Went oh, yeah. to see you on a giant turtle. It was great until they never came back. Um, <laughs> I, I look forward to hearing the story when I um over the next few days. Oh, I'll give it a go. It's a lot of tragedy, really, but uh, well, at least the turtle's all right. Um, <laughs> Good. And... It's like fuck. Yeah, almost went rogue, you know. I think it's prowling the high seas, eating things. Um, <laughs> but hey, it's story good. for a story for a time. We'll we'll do swap seats. Sounds good. All right. Um, you make your way out. Uh, okay. Um, as you return to the wagon, um, Alakai, you've been waiting patiently. It does take probably about the time that uh, Ironfoot has this transaction for you to um, watch and wait as um, as Von Strachan finishes his deal. You see as a couple of hands come and grab the goods and take them into the back of the tent um, and a rather hefty sack is placed on the table in front of you. Just at this point he sort of beckons you over um, and uh, right um well, this is now one of the main priorities here, is to protect this. Um, I promised that I'd pay you and your companions, uh, as I'm for you return at this point. Um, are you... Do you want your split now, or do you want me to give your party funds to you now, and you can divvy it out later? The Iron Foot. Was it your call? Uh... How much was there? It's a good haul. Um, for for your services in my capture, um, I'm I'm willing to give you as a as a as a group, uh, one thousand two hundred gold. Ooh. I value my life highly, and I was going to lose it. Um, That's I, a lot of gold. I really appreciate. It. So what do we got? I'm just gonna. Get the guys on the huddle. What are we doing? Do we want to split it? It's just you and Alakai right now. Oh, it's just me and Alakai? The other two have wandered to a completely oh. different district. You just simply moved around the marketplace that you're in. Um, what do you want to do with it? I think we secure it and then split it. Yep. Yeah. Until everyone's together. Unless you want to take your 300 now, and I take my 300 now, and if they lose theirs, whatever. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll keep it all together, and we'll yeah. give it up. Very well. In that case, um, if we climb aboard, the wagon will be a lot lighter now. Um, we can head to the courier service, and then uh, onwards to the map. Yeah, absolutely. Iron for you drive, I can't see shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, two secs. I'm just going to... What time of day is it? Um, it's it's afternoon. It's afternoon. I'm gonna go back to the dwarf and say, see you first thing in the morning. Fuck it. You 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 make your arrangements. Um, yeah. for brevity. Um, and you guys begin heading off. It's still gonna be quicker for you guys to get to the courier than for these two to walk and get lost in a big city. Uh, <laughs> um, especially as we have a combined intelligence. Of minus one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, you do arrive at a small postal office. 
Um, they have couriers, um, uh, both horseback, local, uh, regional um, courier via pigeon. Okay. Uh, Ironfoot, do you have, like, shit paper and, like, a, like a ink and quill? Uh, I'm gonna turn away. I'm through. F find the uh, listen, I, I'm not here to steal all your fancy paper. I just need to write a letter. Give you one. Thank you. Have you got quill and ink, or am I gonna have to borrow it in there? Right. Here you go. Thank you. And I uh, wander off into the uh, postal mail center and find a quiet corner. Okay. Now. I trust my friends to not hear this, but to hear this, and I write on this letter. My friend. Visited that town that you told me to, but didn't find our other friend. I've traveled with a group to the next city and found two people, an unlikely alliance. This is all in Elvish as well, by the way. Um, in an unlikely alliance, working together was strange to witness. We'll be here for the next few days. We'll send another if to if we go anywhere else. Signed, and I'll just put shadow. And I've never taken notes that fast on the computer. <laughs> um, I also can't right. believe you're playing a hedgehog. Huh. Um, okay. You write your letter. You approach the desk, and they ask you, who's this going to, and where do you want to set? Is going to my adoptive cousin, because I don't have any family. And uh, I will link the boat house that I set sail from mm -hmm. with the name. Who are we going to use? Aleph. Okay. Are you pointing at the boathouse you left at from Dragon's Head? Yeah. That is an awful long way to send a letter. Um, I can drop it off myself. Don't worry, we can we can work this out. Okay. It will, probably, it will uh, to get a letter that far. Um, Two options. Number one, we can translate the letter. Let me really quickly count here. Um, we can do this magically. Um, uh, as we we do have a courier service nearby that town, and it will be vastly quicker. Uh, the wording will be exact, and um, it will arrive uh, uh, in three days' time. Um, that will cost you 500 gold pieces. Alternatively, we can send it to our boat and it will take you... <laughs> 40 days. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> oh, I don't have for the 500 gold. You are trying to send a letter to the other side of the world. Yeah, I know. <laughs> In a time where they don't have aeroplanes. And I don't know if my <laughs> companion can send messages like that. Um, oh, how much is the actual 40 day service? 40 days, we're couriers going into that direction. Um, 10 gold. That is oh. a massive price difference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like to seal it up in an envelope. 
Um, have they got envelopes there? Can I like buy an envelope? Yeah, yeah. Five hundred. They, they, they do. They do offer you. They do offer you as part of the um, as part of the package a seal, a wax sealed envelope. Oh yeah. Uh, listen, I don't have the five hundred gold. I don't even have a fraction of that. I guess I'll pay the ten, and we'll have to deal with it. All right. Um, ten gold. Uh, going to the harbour town on Dragon's Head. Um, so oh, hang on. Before we seal it, let me put in a, a little bit of an allowance for her. <laughs> and I pop in five gold as well. Okay. Mark off fifteen. Yeah. Um, you have our word that it will indeed be delivered. Um, after the uh, after the forty days, um, we will be able to uh, have a note up in this office that your parcel has been sent. If you wish to leave, uh, if you wish to leave your name, we can instead. Uh, allow uh, send you telepathically that your parcel has arrived. Is that one free? Uh, it's an extra five gold fee for that one. <laughs> of course. I give him the five gold. Okay. Forty days. <laughs> <laughs> I should have put something in the letter about it taking forty days to send it because you said you were there for two days. And, and that's that, going to be thirty-eight yeah, yeah. days out of. Uh... <laughs> oh, I <probably laughs> I mean, like two days. <laughs> realistically, I probably would have written at the end, this is going to take 40 days, ignore okay. me. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so... Um, Just you... let me know when you receive it. Okay. It'll take 40 days for them to send it to. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think it will. Okay. So, you, um, you spend your night. Stepping... Unless there's anything else you wish to do, you step back outside and rejoin the wagon. Um... Do they sell like stacks of paper, like writable paper in here? Uh, they do actually, yeah. Um, <laughs> what is it you want? Uh, just like not high quality, not low quality, just like bulk standard, like paper to write on, just a stack of it if you can, like enough to write letters on if I need to. Uh, okay. Um, da -da 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 -da. Do you need an ink pen and a ink bottle? No, I'll borrow iron foots. <laughs> um, just to let you know, ink is actually quite expensive. Um, uh, parchment. Um, so, parchment is a silver piece of sheet. Oh my god. Paper is two silver pieces of sheet. What did you give me? Did you give me parchment or paper? Uh, uh, iron foot has paper. To be fair, in a in this world. Paper is a commodity. It is. To have paper, not parchment. Mm, you fancy. I've put so in some wealth. <laughs> but, um, um, I will get. The fact that where he comes from, that's actually really common. Um... <laughs> no, I have a shit ton of paper. <laughs> little shit. I'll get, I have 12 silver, so I'll get six pieces of paper. This is high quality shit. <laughs> There we go. And then I'll leave and hop back onto the wagon and hand my hand the piece of paper back over. They had some. I bought some. I paid you back. Be even. I will actually put that back in my pack because <laughs> I don't have enough. Alright. Um, as uh, as you guys um, regroup, uh, once I can ask, is there anything else that you two wish to do before we? Head back, though I am quite eager with this much money laying around to um, return to the manor. I'm I'm happy to return to the manor. Uh, me too. Um, at some point, I should probably get my staff looked at. Actually, now that I'm here, if I remember rightly, it's a little bit damaged. Did you want me to take a look? Oh yeah, sure. We'll do it when we get back. That's fine. As you guys begin heading off, um, right, chaos crew. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Ray, Rady generates chaos, and the two of you together f fracture and create chaos amongst your skull. <laughs> so, so yes, um, I believe that is accurate. Um, you guys travel north to the Blades Refuge. Yeah, yeah. Um. 
can really continuing with what you're looking for, make me mm -hmm. another perception. Uh huh. Uh, is enhance ability still up? It lasts for about an hour. Oh yeah. Um, so, yes, yes. Wonderful. Let's try. It this would thing. probably take you about an hour to walk the outer ring. Okay. Oh. oh. 21. 21. Up here, you don't really see crime. Um, you don't see people that are looking for marks, doing the same jobs that you used to do as you, with your crew. But there are sort of rather rough looking mercenaries that seem to be walking through the alleyways up on this area here. Uh -huh. And with a little bit of a, a little bit of a follow, we do realize that they are all heading towards the adventurers guild. Okay. You get a collective mix. It's interesting. With your perception, um, you would be able to notice, and Haladna following Rayleigh, you would also notice this because of your past perception. It's quite a good mix of people that are going here. People that look more like thugs, people in fancy suits of armor. This is very much so an adventurer's guild. Um, people like yourselves in groups that are traveling that are just as likely to become heroes of their own campaign as you guys are. Um, or major villains like you might be. Um, so <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a good mix. It's a good mix. Okay. You know what? I'll start there. The Adventurers Guild. Okay, Let's see what I find out. Well, I'm here to try and find work, so is anybody asking for any help? Is there anybody on the corner? I need four adventurers uh, to help! The Adventurers Guild! Ta-da! You can what, carry on coming with me. Corner? No. <laughs> <laughs> there's a guy who lost his dog. I assume there's like a reception I can go up to. Yeah, so you guys head over to the Adventurers Guild. First thing you do is you open the doors, um, and this is not a guild hall, this is a tavern. A oh, big tavern. <laughs> it is really open. There are like bar stools just littered around, with, like tables that look like they've just been placed on the you know, in that spot because people wanted to sit there. There's groups of people standing around chatting. There is a rather large bar at the far end of the room, and uh, there is a staircase that uh, is to the side, the right hand side of the bar that goes up to a balcony. There is another ring that covers the entire hallway with a catwalk that cross sections it across the middle. Um, you can see a chandelier made of antlers hanging down in the center. You look across to the, the far wall and you see the skull of a dragon hanging from the wall. Ooh. Maybe, um, maybe six feet long. Um, you see tusks of a mammoth hanging on another wall, you see a large painting of what looks like five different figures standing in a huge pile of gold. Um, and you also see another wall, um, really rather plain on the southern facing. It's very large. There's lists and lists of names. And then there are little shelves that stick out of the wall itself. And there's a few of them that have shot glasses just resting on those little shelves. Um, there is, behind the bar, a lot of people working, just serving drinks. Mm -hmm. But on the far end of the bar, by the stairs, there appears to be someone sat down with a rather large book. Uh, maybe four feet wide, this book. Jesus Christ. Uh, God damn. It is huge. It is huge. And the, they are absolutely just turning a page as they're, as people talk to them. Um, it doesn't seem super busy. Um, but there is also behind them, uh, much to your happiness, a rather large board with a large number of posters on it. Okay. I'm just going to talk to Rayleigh. Rayleigh, have you ever mm. been to a place like this before? Yeah, kind of. Can I just take a thing off a boat? Or no, do I have you have to, like... to join. We'd have to join under a guild name, I think. Well, under, like, a group name. 
We spoke about this, we don't have a group name, yeah, do we? Yeah, we're gonna have to come up with a group name. Okay. Well, we're the only ones here, so... <laughs> we can absolutely come up with a group name, this is gonna be fine. <laughs> um... I think we're gonna have to, because... <laughs> <laughs> Unless somebody there's... in chat wants to come up with the group name. That would be funny. We... But we can vibe with that. Yeah? yeah? If somebody wants to, you know, pop that in, or whatever, go for it. Oh wait, is a Pokemon... Pokemon oh, no, just, uh... <laughs> How about Neo? <laughs> yeah, that's it, our group name is Neo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah to, to get jobs, you usually have to join, and then you can take jobs. Because okay. if you ever, like, seek the person that's, like, posted the job, and they're like, oh, so you're from the Adventurers Guild? And we fuck up, then the adventurers guild guild is gonna be on our asses. Okay. So I guess we go over to the man with the book. I mean, if you want to sign up, probably. Well, we we we're here to get a job. We can't just do nothing. You're here to get a job. What are you here to do? I'm here to see if there are any like-minded individuals. Like okay. minded like what? Well, you don't like anything that chaos clans. Mm. Sorry, that's. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't really agree with my political ideologies, so. Right. What are you here for? To see if there are any kind of people that I used to roll with. Right, so what to do what? I'm not telling you you're a cop. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, well, I... <laughs> if we're saying that we're not here to join up and we're not here to get a job, there's no point in me being here. So I guess I'll just go back to... No, we can, we can, get, we can absolutely get a job. Like, totally. Sounds great. You just said but, you didn't want to. No, no, no. I said that's not my that's not my priority. I'm here to see if there are any jobs for people like me. Um, so, would you like to come? Like... Yeah, would you like to come? I can introduce you to some some people. Right. What will we, will we be doing? Legal stuff. Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't need, you don't need to insight check that. <laughs> Actually, yeah, fuck it. Fine. Insight check me, bitch. Um, really, you can either roll perception or persuasion based on what you're doing, but do not tell her, um, Lemon, which can, it is. Can I roll again, please? <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> Even with enhanced ability. <laughs> That's charisma, uh, fuck. Because it's, it's <laughs> wisdom that you've got it for, so nope. <laughs> I rolled a 17. I know! I saw! <laughs> I got a nat 1! <laughs> <laughs> but I have a plus 7! So... 2! Two. Two. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um. I'm lying through my teeth. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm not, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna lecture you. You're 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 a grown adult. At the same time, you literally had a go at us for using zone of truth on a group of people which oh, we believe to be no, capable you... of murder. No, 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 you no, no. Misunderstand. No. I'm just saying. I think there's a bit of a double standard here. I want no part of what comes next, and I will be judging you for you. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Me. Before, okay. before you judge, you have misunderstood. The things that I'm looking for work with are interpreted as crimes by th those higher up in you, the Have you been here before? No. So how do you know what you're doing is illegal if it's so, like, if it's just a, a law which you believe isn't correct? Well, how do you know it's even a law here? I want to learn about the town. I want to learn, like, what the structure is like, how, like, the, 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 the inner workings of things, and see what kind of stuff I can do. I'm fine with that. 
the moment crime comes up, I'm leaving. Uh, there's no crime. There's no crime. There's no crime. That's, that's a lie. We've already established that. Some crimes. Moral ones. Right. Moral crimes. No, I, I don't... I, I'll come with you, but the moment there's crimes, I'm gone. Don't, don't, wa don't worry, me. there will only be a small amount of crimes. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> I'm so glad Aladdin is coming. Okay, yeah, so I'm essentially I'm gonna... Not... I, I'm, I'm just going to reveal essentially what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a group of anarchists. Okay. You look around. We're all anarchists. <laughs> <laughs> this is a massive tavern filled with a huge collective group of individuals. Some of them look rougher than others. Some of them look mean. Some of them look righteous. Some of them simple um just by looking around there's a lot of drinking day drinking there's a lot of laughter there's a lot of arguments there's a fight in the corner um but no one can immediately stand out as an anarchist well it wouldn't be it wouldn't be stood in plain sight Correct. So, how are you attempting to go about finding out who's anarchistic on that? I'm gonna try and strike up a conversation with the fuggiest looking thug. The thuggiest. Yeah. Thug. Okay. Mm. Let me uh. Let me have a look here. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Okay. There is an individual. Um, they're currently. I currently sat around uh, a small group and uh, you can see that they've got rather large muscles they're, their hands are, their arms are crossed at all times they are really staring down they're, they've got almost a bodyguard vibe going about them um, a large leather harness across her chest um, as they sort of glare rather angrily at everyone else in the room they have four arms Oh, they're one um, of those. Uh, yes, indeed. Cool. Uh, you probably would have seen a Morok before. Yeah. Um, I think some uh, of my friends are Moroks. Probably. Um, and uh, although you also ran with a much smaller crowd, the Moroks tend to stand out. You mm. didn't really have very many enforcers uh, in your <laughs> little group. More sneaky. Um, okay, you wander on over. Um, you just walk and straight up. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. Um, as you walk up, you do notice that they sort of... Their eyes clock you. Hey, buddy. Um, what you drinking? I'm not. <laughs> um, as, as you look, as you look, they are stood up. Their arms are crossed. There is no drink in their hands. No, I mean, what, what would you like to drink? <laughs> Elven wine. Oh, God. You have expensive tastes, but <laughs> fuck it. Yeah. Aladdin, would you mind getting me some elven wine? No. I'm handing you money. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how, how much do you hand, Aladdin? How much the fuck? How much fucking. How much is elven wine? You're an anarchist as a street rat I don't, from yeah. the town. You have no idea how much. The only wine I've ever <laughs> yeah, the only wine I've ever drunk is homemade. Ah, uh, five gold. I'm gonna give you five gold. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go over to the bar. How much is the elven wine? It's stealing money from me. <laughs> you just sort of almost sheepish. <laughs> <get. laughs> uh, the first problem that you notice is the moment you ask how much the, the elven wine is, there's a couple of patrons that are nearby you that kind of give you a look like, uh, <laughs> 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 and then it's the barman that turns and says, um, glass or bottle? Glass. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big lady. I'd say bottle. How much? Um, 15 gold pieces. Right, okay, uh, can I have your cheapest bottle of wine, please? No! <laughs> no! Wine? I can't <laughs> take you anywhere! Uh, he digs down, he grabs this bottle, it's sort of brown glass, um, <laughs> it's sort of like a, a rather nasty green cap on it, there's a little 
picture on the side of uh, sort of like a drunk halfling, um, and he puts it down on the counter. Uh, five copper pieces. <laughs> oh wow, that's oh, more no. than tax range. <laughs> um, okay, thank what you. I will pay. Uh, one minute, I need to actually add my monies now. <laughs> um, all right, I'm just gonna hand it back. The change back to uh, Rayleigh, which would be the four gold. Thanks. Nine silver and Thanks five copper. <laughs> at least being wait. Okay, I'm I'm gonna take this bottle and and look at it because I I know that you've just given me shit wine. <laughs> I'm not going to apologize. Every out of uh, elven wine. So they gave you the shittest wine they could. I don't know anything about wine. I'm not a drinker. This is really shit wine. Oh, sorry. Uh, maybe you should ask next time. The really shit wine. Do you want to drink some really shit wine? No. Ah, uh, I get it. Okay, g give me give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna be right back, and I'm gonna go okay. to the um the bar and purchase the bottle of elven wine. <laughs> okay. Take off your gold. <laughs> I gold. cannot believe I just spent that much on fucking wine. I can't either. And then I'm gonna go back and. Does it? Oh, I'll ask. Ask for two glasses. Or for, actually, three. They, they, three glasses. Okay, they give you three glasses and the bottle of open wine. Amazing! And I'm gonna walk this back a very, over. This is a very, this is a very nice bottle. The, the, it, it, you don't even think it's made of glass. I think it's made of crystal. Um, oh, uh, it's, it's nice. Oh, okay. Silver label. Wow. Little blue bar down the middle. This Haladnir is good wine. Mm, duh. Mm, good one. Duh. <laughs> duh. Um, okay. Uh, sorry. Would you, would you like a glass of good fucking wine? Uh, no, thank you. I've got three glasses. Congratulations. Well, I mean, you're, you're, you're way bigger than me, Morok person. What's your name? My name? Uh, they sort of hold their hand out for the one, one of their hands out for the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna open the bottle and pour them a glass of wine and hand them a glass. Let me an insight check. Actually, what's your passive insight? <laughs> uh, um, da, 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 da. Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Uh, there's this like. Make me an insight check. Actually, I want you to roll an insight check. See right. if you can actively see how well your no nope. bribe is going. Badly. Six. Cool. Um, this person's this person's hard to read. <laughs> but, but, uh, but they they take the glass. Um, I'm gonna put the glass on the table and gesture to see if I can sit down. Um, names of our friends. I don't know you yet, but thank you for the drink. Fair enough. I'm Rayleigh. This is Haladnir. He's the um... he's my goody two shoes friend who I am educating in the ways of the world. He doesn't know yet. Mm. There are many ways in the world. Yeah. Can't wait for you to experience them all. It is fun. That's um, great. So. Uh, they, sorry, Karen. They sort of do begrudgingly gesture to the seat. Sick. Um, what, what is it you want? I am very new to town. As in, we rolled in today. And. I mean, me and my friends are looking for some kind of work, but I used to roll with a particularly a particular kind of crowd, and I just want to know if there are people like me here. And short. <laughs> well, yeah, short people would be nice, honestly. Everyone is so fucking tall. Uh, I think there's a group. Uh, are, are you part of the guild, or are you looking to join one? Well. I spent my life in Fornhaven, if you know what I mean. Ah, oh, she told. Yeah. <laughs> we avoid it. Yeah, it's not very nice there. No. But you can imagine the sort of friends I had, right? No. That's what I'm looking for. You're looking for the scum of the city. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Well, I was going to point you in the direction of uh, that halfling group over there for short, but uh, scum of city. That's odd. 
Oh, really? I, I would know where to point you. Is this town, like, I don't know, this town just feels weird to me. I don't know, I, I can't put a finger on why yet. Crime has a high punishment. Uh, people that get convicted are never seen again. Yeah, mm -hmm. they seem to go in a mine or something. Uh, uh, most don't make it out afterwards. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's pretty fucking sad. Like, I know you commit crimes and stuff, but like, you need to get let out, what the fuck? Well, if you are dumb enough to get caught, then you are clearly not meant to be better luck as a miner. Huh. You have a certain outlook on life, right? Going to get caught. Yeah. And pay more attention. This is normally a good one. For example, and uh, they point at the bottle of wine that you have on the table next uh -huh. to the glasses, and it's... It's gone? Yes, it's missing. <laughs> Would I have noticed that? Um, not with your perception checks you've made so far, and <laughs> your high stealth roll that I rolled. Um... <laughs> you have slippery fingers. Oh, no. Not me. Him. And they point to, uh, to the like side of the table, and you can see a very well-dressed man, human, um, slick black back hair, sat rather lazily in probably one of the only cushioned seats in the uh, in the room. Um, very well groomed, very very well maintained, and he looks across and he raises the bottle and drinks from it um, as he sort of <laughs> gestures towards you. Yeah, cheers, um, and he just drinks away. Yeah, enjoy the wine. Save it a little bit for me. I will, and I will probably not. Um, and then <laughs> he just continues drinking. Wow. Anything else you want, uh, or are you going... I, I mean, if you're looking to run with criminals, the best thing to do is to probably go to the mine and try and find someone in there that is serving time, have a chat, find their contacts, try to convince them that you're not a cop to get them sent to keeper. Um, though, looking at you, this little... Punk creature, probably <laughs> not hard. Um... All right. Or are you looking for work, like proper work? Oh yeah, yeah. We want proper work too, because you know a girl needs proper money. Work. Are you part of a guild already, or are you looking to join one? Are you looking to start one? What is the deal? I uh, mean, what kind of guild do you reckon we should join? I on what your group wants. It looks like already just the two of you are quite fractured. I would probably start my own and hope that people recognize you later. I believe that was the plan, is to start our own. Yeah. Um, but the yeah. rest of our party is not currently here. Uh, yeah. When they are. You will, if you wish to start your own guild, you will need signatures from all four of you. Yes. Uh, from okay. from however many of you there are. Yes. <laughs> I hope you're aware I was only present. Okay. Uh, can I ask one question, right? So, uh, I haven't known uh, many of the people in this party very long. So you spoke about uh, the people of this uh, city being, of Strix. Cliff. Strixcliff? No. That's from another campaign. Strixcliff is to the south. Uh, this is Grimbrook. Uh, but you said uh, the, the criminals uh, my companion was talking about were the scum. Can I ask what kinds of crimes they were committing? Are you a cop? Criminals, criminals commit crimes. Um, there's, there's varying uh, degrees, though. Yes, but uh, if you wish to do things properly, you should do it organised. Right. So you don't get caught and end up in a mine? No. Okay. You know, you always need a buddy to watch out for you. If you're after more nefarious means, but you wish to get paid in a more respectable way, then you start the guild and you take the, uh, you take the job bounties over there with a black dot next to you. See? Thank you so much. You've been much more helpful than my previous guide. You're welcome. <laughs> You are very effeminate and very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you are very pretty yourself, uh, Miss with Forearms. <laughs> Thank you. May, we've spoken for a fair while now. Can we please have your name? I'm Haladne. Name the persuasion check. <laughs> Can I be assisting here? Uh, that is why you don't have disadvantage. Um, Amazing, okay. <laughs> you guys, you, you get by the wine. Please, just once I want a good... It's not a good roll, it's 13. Oh my god. It's not That's bad. It. It's, not, it, it's not a hard check. The DC was only 10. Um, you guys have 
of like drinks and a bribe, and you guys have you are right. You have been talking before. Um, as they look at you, it's so nice to meet you, Ladnir and Lady. I am Riga. Riga Smash. Sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> of all the fucking people we're gonna pick to go and speak to, I was like the foggiest fuck, and Pete was like Riga. I, I looked, I looked. They travel around, and uh, on my list of people in the guild, uh, in the guild hall right now, they're there. Okay. Uh, awesome. Both of them. Um, thank you for all your help today. Uh, I believe we'll go and get the rest of our party together so we can actually uh, get this started without committing crimes like my. Uh, Hey, 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 I didn't say we were going to commit any crimes. But yes, thank you for all your help today. Uh, next time we run into each other, please allow us to buy you another drink. You're buying this time though, right? Drinks, oh, okay. uh, if your drinks keep coming like that, then uh, nah, you have deal. Amazing. Right, uh, Rayleigh, should we head back to uh, the rest of them? Yeah, six, sounds fine. All right. Okay. Nice to meet you, Rega. It is nice to meet you too. Thanks for the drink. Um, Fucking bitch okay. swindling me out of 15 gold. <laughs> and, uh, and you guys leave. Um, as you step outside the guild hall, you come to this realization. You have no idea where your friends are. And you begin heading straight back to the market. Um... Wait, didn't we say... He said the gardens. We, we told. Yeah, he, he, told he said the gardens. gardens and we yeah, have do, a you head, do you want to head to the gardens? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, we're gonna have to, but. Wait, what? Okay! Oh, wait, what? This isn't gonna go well, because we're not with Sorry. anyone. <laughs> Alakai, Ironfoot, you are with Von Strachan here, that you do ride the wagon to the southern gate of the gardens. You do notice that this is a walled portion of the city. The walls oh. here are made of white marble and have yeah. golden filigree. In the shape uh, of uh, sort of coins dropping from the tops of battlements. Uh, as you continue around, you get to the southern gate, and there are about 12 guards posted here. Um, you can see they're currently not stopping anyone from going in or out, but you do notice that the only people going in or out seem to be overall quite a lot of wealth. Um, as you enter through the south gate, um, one of the guards does start to step aside, uh, take clocks uh, Karnith. Karnith um, gives him a bit of a wave, and he's let in. The wagon enters, and as you enter through this rather large gatehouse, you see ahead of you, a in the center of the gardens, is a castle. It is a, a large bastion and keep. Um, as, uh, but you don't head to it. You continue the path and you head down to the southwestern corner where there appear to be three manor houses. Um, should we be letting the guards know about the other two? Um, it, have you tried to explain to guards that there are two people that you're going to try and give the description to that they need to be let in? I mean, you've seen the short one. You can, mister. This is true, but you're expecting the guards to kind of remember. Um, mm -hmm. We can arrange a message, um, let them know where we're staying. I don't know where they went. Right, don't worry, I can sort that out. But uh, one thing I do need to ask is that um, please, both of you, remain presentable at all times whilst you're in the gardens. This is high society, and... Uh, well, I, I don't mean to sound pompous, but I have quite the reputation that I don't wish to have sullied here. Um, well, I mean, I look like a fucking corpse. That's yeah. awesome. Um, <laughs> but uh, when we get to the manor, there is a change of clothing that we can offer both of you. Um, I'm sure we can find something and I can have something brought up for Ironfoot and Rayleigh, as they are both significantly shorter of stature. Uh, not, not an offence, my friend. Um, but you're not human height. No, I'm taken. I, we, we all know I'm better. Stockier. <laughs> um, and hardier, I agree. Um, I am about to sully someone's reputation. <laughs> <laughs> um, as, as you guys continue, um, you do see as um, Karnith puts his finger to the side of his forehead, closes his eyes and begins to mutter. 
Kladni, you hear in your head. Um, hello, Hermia. This is Karnath. We're at the gardens. Can you please reach the northern gate? I'll be waiting for you. Um, you can apply. We're on our way now. Uh, shouldn't be too much longer. We're a bit lost. <laughs> <laughs> the, the two of you just hear a chuckle uh, from the back of the car as, as, as <laughs> uh, by Gibbon. Um, uh, and you do pull up to the first of the three maps. Um, as, as you arrive, um, you see that there's actually a line of servants waiting by the door. Maids, butlers, household staff. Uh, someone seems to be dressed as a chef with two apprentices. Um, you can see uh, what look like ladies in waiting, like better dressed maids, um, and not in the standard sort of house cleaner kind of garb. But even the serving staff here that appear to be lined up are in white like nicely put together outfits um very clean very presentable more well off than most of the people in the city have been um but definitely not as well off as the people you've seen coming into the garden um uh he sort of approaches uh, as you come to a stop um he steps down turns to the two of you uh, i need to head to the northern gate please um if you could uh, att be attended by my head of staff, um, we will be able to get you settled in right at home. Um, he raises his hand, snaps his fingers, uh, Vlad! Um, and the quite a young gentleman of a, not, not, not young, young, maybe early 20s, um, does uh, wander over. He's very finely dressed, almost a full penguin tux. <laughs> um, sort of uh, approaches you and uh, uh hello um may i take your do, bags do you have bags um no sure time. and i uh take off my, my satchel he, he he takes it um you notice he's got these rather pristine white gloves which are slightly dirty by your backpack um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um my name is vladimir um if you would like to follow me and just as towards the house. Oh, sure. Let's go. Um, as Carniff heads off towards the northern gate, you guys are escorted into the manor. You see the doors are opened by the servants in front of you. They take you through the main entrance. This is a very old but ornate, well-maintained but gothic building. Um, I'm at home. <laughs> uh, you, you you notice that the uh, all the curtains have this real vivid crimson sort of <laughs> silk to them. Um, there is a sprawling black carpet in the in the entrance way. Um, you see that the chandeliers have small gargoyles above the candles. Um, uh, the, the windows are almost deliberately shaped to look more like a church window. Um, uh, this is a gorgeous building um everything seems to be made of high quality materials there is there is wealth in here that none of you have witnessed before um even i for even you who have seen some of the grand dwarven um housing and gilding this is architecture of a completely different culture that you have never experienced before but you can appreciate the craftsmanship in everything so much as uh, down to the fittings. Um, you are led inside. Uh, you immediately see a grand staircase ahead of you that goes up halfway and then branches off to the sides. Um, and you're, you're led upstairs um, uh, by Vladimir, who then takes you to the left and down a hallway. He opens the door and gestures you both inside. As you wander through, um, bypassing him as he bows towards both of you, you step inside and you can see um, you can see five bathtubs, just arranged in a room with curtains ready to be pulled, hot water being poured into them um, by hand. There is a large cauldron um, uh, on a fireplace with uh, what looks like uh, two maids that are currently 
um, dishing it out and running baths for you. Um, uh, as Vladimir steps inside, uh, I will come back to show you to your rooms. I believe the young master has two more guests, I believe. Um, yes. The it's... Rayleigh, the shorter one, and Vladimir, the elder. Oh. Uh, yeah. Very well. Um, please, um, we <laughs> will have the maid's attention. Um, he is not an elf. So, um, he turns, shuts the door, um, and what do you guys want to do? Well, I suppose they want us to take baths. <laughs> I can hear an echo. Uh, yeah. Ben. I mean, is I'm, it me? I'm, I'm yeah. getting the bath. Ah, there we go, it's fixed. Um, uh, <laughs> Okay, so, and I'll say this, how many women are in there heating up the, you said there was two? There's two. Yeah. I will, you know, for your own eyeballs sake, I will, um, wait for you to finish heating the baths up before I get in. Uh, Ironfoot, if you want to go in, go for it, but I will respectfully yeah, wait. Straight in. Straight in. Straight in. First thing you notice, this is, aside from the fact that you don't really have bath tubs where you're from you actually have bath houses um but there's an appreciation to the fact that these these bath tubs are made of marble um there is okay. what appears to be some sort of lining on the inside that seems to be brass maybe copper you're not sure um uh and uh yeah this is this is nice work this is dwarven work not your people but maybe a long time ago since before the reckoning. Okay. Um, a dwarf made this. One that made it out before the lowlands. Okay, okay. Um, and you are treated to a bath. Um, the two maids finish pouring your bath, um, Alakai, and uh, one of them turns and, uh, would you like us to leave the room? Or... I think for your benefit, you probably should. Of course, sir. Um, and they, they leave. She turns all behind them. And you two are, uh, are left alone in the bathroom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I can't lie to you, Ironfoot. I haven't taken a proper bath since all of this happened. Um, I don't know what's going to happen here. But, okay, I'm here. And I stink of goblins and shit come and have a bath and I will get completely undressed down to the old carcass <laughs> socks off and all and yeah for you who will inevitably see me apart from the spines down my back and my arms and head um, and also showing my hands now you will see that like the knuckles are like gone <laughs> There's nothing there. It just looks like a void. Okay. But under certain lights, it's kind of sh it's like shimmery. Yeah, again, very oily like my hair. Almost like a beetle's carapace. Is that almost pearlescent? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, not pearlescent. Sorry. Yeah, just, like yeah. Yes. Very much like an oil Perfect. Stick. Very much like an oil stick. And that kind of patches all the way up. And then you pay attention to like the f like salt flat fissures in my yeah. skin. Yeah. And from the wrist up, they're all slowly starting to turn it, especially on like the undersides of my arms. Right, okay. Yeah. It's not the prettiest of sides, but yeah, he takes mask off and everything. And he like tries to move his hair out of the way, and he's like, ah, it's just gonna do what it wants, and gets in the bath. Okay. This is a warm bath. This is nice. Yeah, head There's... under and everything. <laughs> There's bubbles. Um, it smells <laughs> of roses. This is a Lovely bath. Meanwhile, um, at the northern gate of the gardens, uh, the two of you do walk up and you do see this massive array of guards. Really, we know how you feel about this. Um, yeah. But standing <laughs> by those guards, you do see, um, you do see Karnith. And as he spots you, he does wave. And seems to say something to one of the guards that you can't quite hear from the distance. And as you approach, the guards stand motionless. Um, 
I, I hope you enjoyed your trip um, in the city. <laughs> yeah, I found out some stuff. We're all good. Gonna... It was enlightening. <laughs> well, I also um... found out how expensive elven wine is. Oh, yes, that's uh, some of the most expensive things you can probably ask for at a bar. Yeah, um... I got swindled by a person. Swindled? Well, I say swindled, like, but she could have asked for something cheaper. Right, you offered someone a drink and they asked for the most expensive. Probably Pretty not much. The, probably not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, um, that's fine, but, you know, I'm, I'm a poor bitch. <laughs> I see. Um, speaking of, the other two have been protecting the payment that I have managed to occur for you uh, for the thanks of saving my life. Um, would you like to head back to the manor now? Uh, yes, I think you that'd mean... be good. I don't think we fit in here. You mean that massive country-sized house? Uh, they, yeah, you're looking at the castle at this point. Because <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. There's a castle in the middle, and then there's like about 12 manors around the edge. Yeah, like which one? There's a gajillion manors. Um, that one. And he points towards the gothic building, which is maybe the fifth nicest. <laughs> wow. What the Please, hell do I, you I... need a house so big for? Uh, this is a summer retreat. Uh, and he quickly starts walking. Um, uh, I mean, sh shall we? Yeah, sounds great. Um, he leads you down the path. This place is gorgeous. There are flower beds. The grass is so evenly cut that it looks like a bowling green. <laughs> like, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Um... And uh, he walks you over towards the front door. Um, you, you guys don't see the array of servants um, as they were there to uh, witness the arrival of their master, not the uh, not the arrival, just departure, and then immediate re-arrival. Um, and uh, you are welcomed in. You see the exact same things as the two before you, and uh, you do see um, a rather well-dressed butler in a lovely penguin tux. Um, as he looks across to you and uh, my name is Vladimir um, master of the house uh, uh, oh sorry um, head of the house uh, if you would like to um, follow me the servants have run baths for you uh, where your companions are waiting run baths for us uh, indeed alright please if you would and he gestures towards the stairs oh go Okay. Ready? Yeah, I'll go. Okay. Um, you guys are escorted up, and as the door is opened and he bows, um, he asks if he can take your bags. Um, nope, I'm good. Uh, very worry. well, as you wish. Um, and as, as he opens the door, you guys step in, and you see, sat in bathtubs, <laughs> um, <laughs> your two friends. There a are... corpse and a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is interesting. Um, Alakai doesn't really look like a corpse. Um, there's this... The only way you can really describe it is some form of demonic corruption um, to their their appearance. And now that they're in the bath, having actually had a bath, <laughs> it's not that bad. Um, you do still have to get over the fact that it is hideously corrupted. But um, the, the, the hair isn't quite as oily. It's still pretty oily, but it, it, it's looking better. Better than you've ever seen them, probably due to the rose-scented bubble bath that has been run. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but there are three other baths in there. Two of them filled. Wait, three the other? Yes, there were five baths in total. Oh, I'm going to give Rainbow Drop a scrub. And the other one is not filled. Um, but you I'm, can I'm, I'm just gonna wash. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wash Rainbow Drop in my bath and then get in after. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, what do you guys want to do? Your friends are reunited. I'm never having a bath. Been a long week dealing with Rowley. <laughs> <laughs> Did you lot find anyone fun? Yeah. Um, we met some people. It turns out Rayleigh, the one that's super against us doing anything that she disagrees with, is actually a criminal. 
Um, Act, and... abs no, don't listen to him. He has absolutely no idea what he's talking about. I'm not a criminal. I just like to help the people at the lower ends of society with things that they need help with. And commonly, the people in charge of places look at the things that I do as crimes. Because they're all stupid. So that sounds like a criminal with extra steps. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, um, a, I'm a woman of the people. And okay. we've been told we can make a party. We need four signatures at the Adventurers Guild and we can make a party and start taking requests. We were told to take ones with black dot, uh, black marks on them uh, as they are the ones that will not... Uh, I believe what we were told is that they're the ones that will not be crimes. I don't know, I'm just a deer. <laughs> will, will not be crimes? <laughs> Yeah, if she, if Riga said to take the ones with a black dots on them if you want to be able to build your... Alakai shoots up in his bath. Who told you? Riga. Riga! Big-ass lady, four arms? Yeah. Yeah. I bought her wine. Oh. Do you know how expensive Elven wine is? And you lost it, didn't you? Oh, yeah, someone swiped it. Yeah, you're an idiot. It's it's fine. It's I made a friend. I gave you two names before you left. Did you? What were they? Marius and... I thought you just remembered Marius. Yeah, I think you just said Marius. Once I clicked that, I remembered the second name. I said it out loud. After we left. No, you were there. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I don't really care. Well, we vibe. Yeah, it's a really big place. We went into the Adventurers Guild. Like, that place is fucking huge. Oh, like, you said Riga's there? Yeah. Yeah. What does... Okay, um, this is Mike speaking. What does Marius look like again? Marius? It was you conveniently Marius. the person. You, you, look, you know Marius to have slick back, uh, slick back oiled hair, very posh clothing, um, slightly getting on. Oh, he's years. the bitch that um, stole the wine! He is indeed the bitch that took your wine. Damn it! Uh, not, that you, not that you know that, because you don't know his name. No. Um... <laughs> Hey man, you got what you learned from last campaign. It's where Marius goes, Riga goes. Yeah. <laughs> well, Riga isn't far without Marius. Now, humor me. Mm -hmm. Was there a second person with Riga? Yeah. There was a, lot of people at that table. There was a bunch of people at that table. The person really obnoxious, that... bit of an asshole. Well, I mean, they're like oh. they're they're cold. No, 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 the person, the, the other, like, there was a very particular person I'm looking for. You want to know the one that swiped the wine that was a little shit? Mike doesn't know that, but I'm asking you questions. Describe him. I'm going to give the description. Yeah, fancy, like, slick back, black hair. Well trimmed. Yeah, fancy pants in a group full of fucks. And I have to go in there and sign a ticket? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we don't even to. have a name. Oh, what the fuck? Why are they here? We, we have to. We have to come up with a group name, by the way, just to make it easier. But if they're here, what's wrong with them? A new hand uh, touches the beacon. What, what's what's wrong with them? They were the people that you know, the mercenary group I run with. Before oh. I became who I am now. Uh huh. That's fun. They own it. Uh huh. And that's bad, right? That mercenary group who betrayed me. Oh, yeah. Um, well, we're not running with them. Like, I just used Riga for some details. Yes, but no, that, that means I have to go into that guild and sign up with everyone and get signatures for us all to sign up as a guild to get jobs, uh -huh. which means I have to encounter them. There's other guilds. There's a whole oh, actually, area of guilds. Like, we just picked the I biggest one. Lot, I look a lot worse than the last time they saw me. They might not recognize me. Hey, you look like Mincemeat. You're fine. I mean, how many Shadron do you really meet? He has a point, actually. Well, we can just avoid that guild. There's plenty of others. I mean, there's normally one adventure guild for all. Or, like... That's the the most money will be the one that stays on top. Yeah. But we could take and if they're there, there, you found it. Yeah. We, we could vibe. take jobs from a smaller place if you really want to avoid them. 
He takes a really deep breath in and breathes out as he sinks back into the tub, creating loads of extra bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, leans back out. I mean, what are they likely to do if you see them? Oh, it's not them you have to worry about. Okay. Who do it's me. Oh, okay. What are you likely to do if you see them? Probably kill them. I didn't say that. Do you want me to help you hide the bodies? <laughs> well, first of all, you ain't hiding Regus, that's a big body. No. I didn't to, be fair, to give them credit, they're not so assholey. They, I mean, they're a pair of dicks, but yeah. there's one in there, and he's a bit of a kiss ass, so if they're there, he's probably there. Who? I think it'd be nice to see him. Oh, you'll see. Okay. So basically, we turn up to this adventurous guild, you find a way to kill these people, we... <laughs> just one. Just just one of them, okay, cool, alright. What have they done wrong? Like, aside from the, the, the you know, the betraying, like... <laughs> really? Yeah. I like you. Yeah. You get angry, you need to calm it, and we, we should probably work on that together. I'm trying. You'll find out one day. Well, yeah, but, like, if we're going to go into this place, I want to know who I'm, you know, assisting I, in the disappearance of. I mean this in no disrespect. You won't need to help me. I'll be fine. Yeah, but, like, massive city full of people. You ever killed somebody in a big city? Yeah. Insight check. Go for it. Um... Please roll me persuasion or uh, deception. Fuck Don't sake. say it out loud. The fucking online dice rolled onto the nat 20 and onto a 2. <laughs> I you look up. at me and I'm telling you the truth. Okay. There's not a shred of like hesitation in my voice. Okay. My body language is proud. Like, this is an admittance. I'm not lying to you. On foot. Roll me a uh, inside check, please. Okay, okay. Ooh, 18. 18. Um, you see the look as you're sort of quietly sat there watching the drama unfold. Uh, like you normally do, just sort of you 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 you, you observe, but you don't really interfere. Um, you know a fellow soldier when you see one. When he says that he's killed people in cities, you, you get the feeling that that was more likely than not because that he was part of an army that sieged a city. Mm -hmm. And just for sakes of sakes, and I saw your roll. I'm telling the truth on it as well. Because I actually rolled a really good uh, check. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll be fine. Alright. Sorry to kill the mood. Oh, you're fine. I don't believe too much in revenge or vengeance. But I hold a grudge. It's nice to know that there's somebody in this group that shares my way of thinking. Oh, no. <laughs> We're very different people. <laughs> very Damn different. It. I thought I got you there. I point at Iron Foot. I'm probably more like him than I am you. Well, that sucks. You guys are all so good. Uh. And I sort of look at Iron Foot, and at this point, if we both caught the militant yeah, vibes yeah. from each other, give it gives him like that respectful yeah. that nod. That, would would you say point. good or following orders? Ah, uh, for me, it would have been different. Very different. Very different. So I, I just said very good. I... Um. I actually don't know your story, so fair. That's, yeah, uh, I believe you, you, to be fair, you've not lied to me once so far. If you remember the cultural 
vibe of your people. That will yeah. tell you everything you need to know about your military experience. Yeah. But I guess you could say, Rayleigh, helping out the smaller folk, for sure. Yeah, see, that I can't get behind. <laughs> you do it for orphans, infants, and people of lower class, and I do it for cities. Yeah. Uh, this is the biggest place I've ever been in. It's fucking weird. This, I don't think this is the biggest place I've been in. It's big. Up there. It's one of them, but definitely not the biggest. Also, like, this house is really vampiric. I will say, I feel at home. Like the whole vampire vibe? Just the whole dark and mysterious vibe. Yeah. I mean, I get it, it's a choice, but... I don't know. I'm waiting for the one of them to turn into a bat. <laughs> right, that's me done. I'm too hot now. Ah, <laughs> I don't like it. It gets up and dries himself off. <laughs> I am going to do what I conventionally do when Rainbow Drop gets cleaned. I'm going to let her run around. Oh, Dry yes. herself oh, off. Bag. It's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> they bolt everywhere. They shake every five minutes. At one point, they just jump back in the bath and back oh. out again. <laughs> the process. Uh, this is a... You, everyone knows. This is a dog that is not very well trained at all. Um, they are loyal, but they That's have about it. zero <laughs> discipline. Uh, <laughs> the bottom shake, Alakai snaps his fingers and goes, Come here! And then drives the dog off with him. Uh, no? no? No discipline. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have not trained him. Come here! Oh, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can chase him with a towel. I think I'm faster than your dog. Good question. <laughs> Is there anything you guys want to do? No. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Um, after, after you guys watch Alakai chase around a dog, <laughs> um, uh, that eventually just runs straight at Rayleigh. Because um, <laughs> Logsy <he> beats... <laughs> but, but it, you realise they, they 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 like playing a game. How fast can you go, Alakai? Forty-five feet. Um, without spending key points, the dog's the same speed as you. Um, <laughs> uh, but um, but you guys, you guys finish your baths, you dry off, um, and as you exit, you see that there are uh, there are, there are a pair of servants waiting on the other side of the door for you. Um, not. Like literally on the side of the door, but against the wall, waiting patiently, um, and they gesture you down the hallway a little bit further, um, and you are led to four individual rooms. The beds are made. The each room has its own fireplace. Uh, the fires are going. There is a tray of fruit and biscuits and crackers. A um, couple of meats. There are no meats in. Brady's room. Oh, that's oh. cute. There are, nice. there are a pair of vegan friendly eggs. Hard <laughs> 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 boiled and waiting for you. Um, and um, and uh, and you guys are left to get some rest. And with a little bit of homework. For the four of you to come up with a guild name ready for next yeah. session, as I'm pretty certain that is the direction you guys are yeah. going. Yeah. Then uh, that is where we're going to end tonight's session. Woo -woo. Welcome Thank to you for tonight. I'm so oh. excited to do crimes next yeah. week. The next time. Next no. I'm so excited for you to be in the mines. Yeah. Um, yeah. On your own. <laughs> yeah, on your own. <laughs> a guild that crimes together is sentenced together. Let's go. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Oh, I don't know. That might actually be a lie. Uh, <laughs> um, so, Thank you for tonight, as always. Yeah, that's good. That was fun. I'm sorry we missed fun. last last session. Um, just a, a real quick one. I did notice. Uh, I did realise that um, I I am only able to do every other week. Oh, so really? if you miss a section, I we won't be moved to the next yeah. one. It'll be missing quite a few. Okay. Um, but I I think I am ready for the next one. I'm away next week. We're going to Madeira, but Woo. 
cake. Well, they make the cake. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend seven days hiking across cake, mate. That's what I'm doing. No um, um, Edible but, um, mountains. But we should be, we edible Portuguese mountains. Um, <laughs> but, we, but we should be, we should be good for next session. Um, if you guys, it's been a while since we played, and there's a lot of backstory stuff that came up today. I will be hanging around for the next twenty minutes, but I'll probably jump into. Uh... We all have access to DM private line. Yeah. Should do. Um, I, I will jump into there, so if you guys need to uh, catch up or want, to, I mean, want a refresher or anything, I'll be there for like the next half an hour or so whilst I doodle. Sounds good. Um, to everyone else, thank you very much for watching. Yeah. We'll hand you back to Pixie and finish off the stream. Woo woo. Bye. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Peace, bird. <laughs> what? I said peace, peace. Oh! <laughs> 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 Um, it's mushroom now, motherfucker. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay, I I have like six energy left, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call it there. I'm live again on um, Wednesday with Pokemon next. One of the Pokemons. We're playing a Pokemon. It's it's a, that's a, that's what we're doing. We're playing a Pokemon. Anyway, I love you very much. I'll be going to bed. No, you can't make me. I need to have my dinner first, and don't know how easy that's going to be right now. It's going to be fine, maybe. We'll, we'll soon find out when I stand up in a second. Okay, I love you guys very, very much. Go do something nice for yourselves, that is an order, and I will do the same. I'm not just going to be a little shit. I'm going to be, I'm going to be kind. Okay, I love you. Goodbye.